The sun did not set on the Jets last May. While the team that has been Winnipeg since 1972 held an emotional farewell, the fans refused to say goodbye. The Jets will play one last season to remember, but without fan favorite Thomas Steen, who received the ultimate tribute from the team after 14 seasons of outstanding service. The fans who have turned out to see the Jets have seen a couple of exciting wins. Igor Korolev had a hat-trick versus the Stars and scored the game winner against the Mighty Ducks. And when the games were on the line, Nikolai Habibulin coolly and calmly tended the score, much to the relief of GM John Paddock, relieved that his team is unbeaten. Tonight, the Jets will try to make it three in a row, matching their best ever start. Live from New York, it's not Saturday night, it's the Jets and the Rangers on CKND. Molson Jet Hockey on CKND Winnipeg TV is brought to you by Molson Canadian. Well, the best ever start for the Winnipeg Jets was in 1987-88 season when they won their opening three games of the regular season. And so far in this final season for the Winnipeg Jets, they have won their first two. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another season of Molson Jets Hockey on CKND. I'm Joe Piscucci, joined by former NHLer and proud Winnipegger Kerry Wilson, who scored 169 more goals in the NHL than I ever did. Well, I, it was 169, but I got to tell you, Joe, I sent the videotape back to the league because I'm fighting for one more. Oh, really? You have a bonus and clause in your contract with the Well, player? I do. Back in Calgary, plus I like the sound of that 170. Well, it's been a season to remember so far, Kerry, for the fans who really can't ask for much more for the Jets from these first two games. They've won them both. That's absolutely right. I mean, off to a great start. A lot of positives right now coming out of the Winnipeg Jets dressing room. They filled some good holes in the, in the off season. They've got some young players coming up doing extremely well. I think we can see uh, a lot of good things coming in. They're going to have a, you know, off to a great start, and hopefully they'll pull this momentum into tonight's game and also on. Well, in New York right now, they're talking about the Rangers winning the Stanley Cup here in Winnipeg. We talk about the Jets making the playoffs and carry. I think the Jets have a better chance of fulfilling their goal than the Rangers do. I think so. They've got to set their sights just on making the playoffs this year. That's a goal that they can obtain. They're going, they're going to go after that. I think right now, you know, they've, they've set the stage for it. And now, uh, you know, I, I know two games doesn't make a season, but boy, that's a, it's a great start that they can uh, carry on with. Well, it's already been a season to remember for Chris King. He was named captain of the Winnipeg Jets last Thursday. And Chris King comments on why the players feel this will be a season to remember. With all the negatives surrounding and all the uncertainties, the team is kind of hidden in that and used it as an excuse. Well, this year we know that we're not going to be in Winnipeg next season. Uh, we know we're going somewhere, and as of right now, you know, that's, that's there. I mean, that'll take care of itself. What we have here is a team that hasn't played, made the playoffs in two years, a team that's on the rise, a team that's not a lot different from those previous two-year two teams, and... Uh, we just feel we've got a lot to prove to ourselves more than anybody else. And the Jets have already proved a lot to their fans and to the rest of the NHL in the first two games. Let's send you off to New York now. Let's join CKND's Voice of the Jets. He's Kurt Kielbach, Mr. Wraparound, and his co-host. Thanks a lot, Joe. Kerry, hello, everybody, and welcome to another season of Jets Hockey on CKND. And Joining us uh, tonight will be Greg Mellon. Greg, let's talk first about the New York Rangers. They're a club that uh, last year had trouble scoring goals. The other night, their opener got shut out in Hartford. Yeah, Sean Burke was absolutely outstanding. He stopped 37 Rangers shots. And this was a story about the Rangers last year. They had a tough time scoring goals. They have to get a lot more production, but they made some key acquisitions over the summer, one being Luke Robitaille, a proven 40-goal man in this league, and they look for him to score a lot more and get on the board this evening. And he's seen a lot of clubs like the Jets before, of course, having come from the high-scoring Western Conference. That's right. He's used to this conference. He's used to the wide-open style from the conference that he's going to see tonight. So look for him to be a, a real problem for the Jets. And where the Jets are concerned, their first couple of games, both victories at home, no trouble scoring goals. No, that's right. Their big line has been absolutely outstanding. Jean Napurla and Solani. And they have to be good again tonight if they're going to win this game. Your best line has to play well when you're playing against a good opponent like the New York Rangers. And, of course, where they're concerned, they're without Keith Kachuk tonight, but Darren Turcott back in his building. Well, Turcott's a perfect second-line center iceman. He shoots from all over the place, and he has terrific speed. 
So look for him to be a shooter tonight. He will shoot from all kinds of different angles, and that's why he scores so many goals. Is that what we'll see tonight, a lot of speed from both sides? I think we're going to see a lot of speed. Of course, with these new rules, it's a lot of fun to watch. Everybody's forechecking with a lot of authority, a lot of speed, a lot of pressure on the defense tonight in this building, and the Jets are going to have to weather the storm early. And, of course, it's something that's been talked about a lot. We should see a lot of power play activity just about every game this year. That's right. Special teams, they average about 10 per game, and that's a lot in the league. And you're going to see a lot of special team work. But, hey, the Jets have a great power play. And look for that cross-crease pass that they love so much. Down off to Solani. Well, I think we'll see that this evening. So stand by for the opening face-off. The Winnipeg Jets and the New York Rangers live on CKND Winnipeg TV. We're looking at New York City, where the Jets will try to extend their opening season winning streak to a club record time three. Terry Wilson, one of the stories of the Jets so far this season has been the play of the four rookies. Let's get your quick impressions on them in alphabetical order, starting with Shane Doan, who just yesterday turned 19 years of age. You did, and that's hard to believe. All these teenagers on the club... Uh, Real good kid. He's got some real good skills and a real good head on him. I've, I've noticed so far in his play that uh, even though not a, not a lot has happened, he's got two assists so far, but he's, he, the way he's thinking, I can see him setting up plays and he's looking for the right player. So I think you're going to see a lot from this kid uh, down the line. Good head on his shoulder is going to be a good playmaker, and I know the goals are going to start to come. All right. Uh, defenseman Jason Doig, who uh, scored on his very first shot in the National Hockey League. Yeah, that reminds me a lot of a young Kerry Wilson who did <laughs> just the same thing, but... Uh, big player. He's gonna he's gonna play a very physical game. He's gonna create uh, a lot of havoc uh, in the Jets' end and uh, bounce some pucks loose and get it get it up to the forwards. I think uh, he's gonna be a really good addition to this club. They need the size and they need the physical uh, the physical presence out on the ice, and he's gonna create that. All right, uh, Craig Mills, a player that I uh, feel is quite spunky out there. He is just that a, a, a smaller player, but very feisty, very energetic. He's gonna go out there. Same thing on forward. Now he's gonna create a lot of havoc. He's gonna get to the loose pucks create some open ice and get the pucks out to his uh, his teammates. And right and last of the four rookies, uh, defenseman Darren Quint, who's going to get that alarm clock fixed and uh, will not miss practices on game days. Well, once he takes care of that, I think you're going to see Darren Quint uh, is going to be a very uh, solid uh, offensive defenseman, the type of player that Winnipeg really needs. He's got some great skills. He can carry the puck and he sees the ice really well. He just needs a little bit of time, a little bit of uh, honing his skills at the NHL level, but Again, another young player that's going to uh, really come along in the years. And four players to be watching out for tonight, playing their first games for the Winnipeg Jets on the road, and what better place, really, than the Big Apple in New York. All right, uh, 16 years ago, yesterday, the Winnipeg Jets played a very important game, and that night, our color commentator, Greg Millen, was in goal. Yes, it was the Jets' first game in the National Hockey League. And there's the first goal. Peter Marsh took the shot. It was tipped in there by Morris Lukowicz. And later on in that period, the shot by Lukowicz, the save by Millen. But there's Peter Sullivan on the rebound. The Jets victimized Millen twice that night. But the Jets would lose that game by score of 42 to Pittsburgh Penguins. That was 16 years ago yesterday. Brings back the memory? It does. I didn't catch that game, or at least <laughs> I don't recall. But it does bring back uh, some memories, especially of the... The Jets way back then, that was a team that I followed as a youngster, and, uh, and there were a lot of players on that team that, uh, that I really looked up to and sort of uh, uh, you know, wanted, wanted to be the same type of player if I ever made it to the NHL. All right. You know, the opening ceremonies are taking place right now at Madison Square Garden, so it gives us a little more time to talk about the Winnipeg Jets. And in that opening, Greg Millen talked about the big line has to play big in the big games. And... So far, Igor Korolev has come up big for the Jets this season with uh, four goals and five points. Zhamnov, of course, had a key goal against the Ducks. So far, Timo Solani has yet to score this season. Well, you'll see Timo come along, but I think uh, it, you, you've hit the nail right on the head. This is a team that doesn't have a lot of scoring depth. They need to have their big lines, the line one and line two. Oh. A member of the 1994 Rangers Stanley Cup championship team, number 30, Glenn Healy. A two-time NHL All-Star and MVP of the 1994 All-Star.
All-Star game. He holds the Rangers record with a 20-game unbeaten streak. Number 35, Mike Richter. He is a 12-time NHL All-Star, winner of the Cosmite Trophy in 1984, two-time winner of the Hart Trophy, and a six-time Stanley Cup champion, the captain, number 11, Mark Messier! I can't hear him at all. Players not in uniform tonight are Matthias Nordstrom, Darren Langdon, Stefan Matteau, and Bruce Freiberg. So the Winnipeg Jets, the New York Rangers getting set to hook it up. They just had the opening ceremonies where they introduced the Rangers one by one. Greg, you've been in that situation before. Opening night at home, it's got to be exciting. Boy, when you're the home team, you really get pumped up in a hurry, although it's very difficult on the players, particularly the Jets right now. They've been waiting in the dressing room. All they want to do is get started here, so hopefully they'll get the carpets up, the officials will get on the ice, and we'll get this game started. Where the Jets are concerned now, they know the Rangers are going to be pumped for the first five or ten minutes to the hockey game. Well, absolutely, and they have to weather the storm, as we mentioned in the opening. They're going to have to play a very conservative style early on in the hockey game. Make sure all five forwards are back protecting Tim Chevelday, and just dump it out if they don't have a play off the boards and out until they can get some momentum going. And hey, once they do, they're better off playing in the Rangers' zone. So you're going to be the answer to a trivia question. Uh -oh. You already are. <laughs> do you recall that goal by Morris Lukowicz, the first ever NHL goal by the Jets? Quite honestly, I do not. It was a long time ago, but you know what? So many people scored on me. If I remembered every one, I'd be in big trouble. <laughs> We've got uh, the Rangers and the Jets. The Jets over the years have had some pretty good success against the New York Rangers. And the Rangers, as we mentioned in the opening last year, coming off their Stanley Cup of a year ago, suddenly ran into all kinds of problems winning at home ice. The people seemed understanding. They gave the Rangers a tremendous ovation, even though they were eliminated in straight games in the playoffs last year. But I don't think the people here, they're not really known for their patience in the main, won't be as patient this year. One thing about playing or managing in New York, there's no tomorrow. You have to win today. And certainly the Rangers have made some acquisitions over the summer because of the urgency in New York to win immediately. And they don't mind spending money, and that's an advantage that they have. They want success every game, game in and game out. The Jets, meanwhile, looking to continue in the vein where they started at home. You know, two for two, uh, both, both close victories. But nonetheless, it's got to give you a pretty good feeling coming into the road trip, uh, the first road trip of the season. Well, I've been very impressed the way the Jets played or have played the first two games, particularly the way they can score goals. They're a very explosive hockey team. And that's very hard to play against because you know, you know, as an opposition, you know they can score at any minute's notice. And you have to be, play a very responsible type of game against the Jets. The Jets in here this evening know they have to play, pay attention to detail. They're going to have to play a very tight checking game, particularly early, and then maybe let it run as the game progresses. The Jets go from here to New Jersey, then they'll go back home for three straight at home. So it's an opportunity to make a little hay, but they don't come much tougher, I don't suppose, than starting on the road against the team that won the Cup two years ago and the team that won it only a few months ago. I think that's okay, though. It's a good test for their young players. The Jet management will have an opportunity to see how they fare against the toughest opposition in the league, and I think that's a positive thing. And, and uh, the, you might as well play against the best and see where you sit in the league right away. And now, just before the game gets underway, of course, the national anthem and John Amarante. Canada, we 
stand on God for thee. God keep our land glorious and free. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. All the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our at the world's most famous sporting facility, Madison Square Garden in New York. In goal for the Winnipeg Chance tonight is Tim Chevalier, 27 years old. It's his debut of the season, but a lifetime against the New York Rangers. Seven wins, only three losses, and three ties. Standing opposite Tim Chevalier tonight for the New York Rangers will be Mike Richter, who has a three and one lifetime record against the Jets. He played in the opener in Hartford, yielded only two goals, but the Rangers didn't score. They lost two nothing. His goals against average having been pulled late in the game is 2.03. The referee tonight is Mark Fossett and working the lines, Ray Scapanello and Ron Asselstein. There was no play between the conferences last year with the exception, of course, of the Stanley Cup final, New Jersey and Detroit. So it's been over a year, well over a year, since these kind of teams, these kind of games have taken place in the NHL. The puck goes down into the Ranger zone. Leach goes after it. Now it's sent back along the boards, and the Rangers starting away. With it, there's Ferraro. Left side pass to Robotai. His shot goes over top. And back to get it, the Jets, Doig, sends it up the left side. A lead pass to center ice for Mills, checked by Leach. Puck goes free, taken in across the line. Working in deep is Quinn trying to work it in front. Knocked away from him, and the Rangers start back. With it there, Ferraro gets to center ice. Works his way to the line. He's checked. Mills with it for Winnipeg. And Mills just dumps at the distance. And that'll be icing against the Winnipeg Jets. Well, a very good start for the Winnipeg Jets. A good hard work shift. Good tempo. They played a lot of that first shift in the Ranger zone. Face off will go back in the circle to the left of Tim Shevelday. Not in the lineup tonight for the Winnipeg Jets. Keith Kachuk has got that groin injury. Randy Gill and Eddie Olchek are scratched, so is Brent Thompson. We'll get to the Ranger scratches when we get the chance. Lock in behind the Jet goal. Sent around on the boards and all the way out to center ice. The captain of the Rangers, Mark Messier, has it there. Sends it up the right side. Here's the pass into the middle. That's taken by Samuelson. Samuelson works in deep, trying to work it in front. Check, Turcotte lost it. Samuelson in front to Graves. Knocked away from him. Loose puck. Going after it is Lister in behind. Now it's centered. Sent back to the blue line. Held in by Samuelson. And with it now for Winnipeg is Doig. Around of the boards. Gets it to Newman. Newman gets it to the blue line and out. Messier check. Here's Turcotte. Going down with Doan. Turcotte 
Not the puck too far ahead. Now it's centered across between the feet of Doan. And the Rangers come back. Here's Messier with Ray Graves trailing. Messier, you know the luck. Pass to the right. Murphy! And the save. Rebound! And that was blocked by Darren Quinn with Chevrolet out of the net. Here comes Quinn out to center ice. Long shot. Steered away by Richter. Andrew Salani in front. Carl out. His shot was blocked. Now Solani goes after it, went by him, and it's grabbed again by Herbie. Gets in across the line, puts it out in front. And the Jets, Quinn sends it ahead. Here's Solani, gets up to the line, he's checked. And starting back for the Rangers, in Chinov, and it's offside. Oh, what a tremendous save by Tim Chevrolet with a super poke check. And he told me this morning he loves to play against the New York Rangers. John Knopf with his first shift of the hockey game. As I mentioned, they need a lot of production, a lot of speed on the John Knopf, and Presley will be one of the players for the Rangers that will get the checking assignment. Face-off right at the Jet blue line. Jam Knopf there against Nemtinov. Jam Knopf gets the draw. The puck worked over now to Quint. Quint dumps it out over center. Leach goes back. Richter out of the goal. 2.20 into the opening period of a scoreless hockey game. The home opener for the Rangers. The road opener for the Jets. Rangers 0-1. Jets 2-0. Here's Manson. Behind his goal. Starts away for Winnipeg. Works his way to center. Drives it in. Richter down on his knees. That shot that was let go by Manson actually went off Karpatsev. And Richter looked like he had a little more difficulty than he probably did. Well, Manson will try a long shot often when he plays and that one hit a stick and almost fooled Mike Richter sometimes in a dump in early in the game it's not a bad idea to shoot it on goal and test the opposition's goalie and Manson as we all know can really shoot the puck he told me this morning he has to stay away from the dumb penalties he felt he did that a little bit too much the first two games he has to play a little more disciplined style of hockey game face off of the Rangers zone Mike Staples it against Messier now King, the captain of the Jets, puts it in behind the net. Taken there by Lowe. Gets it outside the zone. And center ice puck goes free. Now it's taken in across the line by the Rangers. Pops it. Here's the shot wide. Back to the point low. Lowe tried to poke it through. Did get it to Messier. Messier drops it off. Taken to the outside. Dumped in by Kiprios. Messier in behind the net. Checked there by Stapleton. A hit now to King. King pokes it, but not out. Shot from the point that was blocked. And that hurt. The Jet defenseman Wilkinson who hobbles to the bench. Puck is dumped back into the Jet zone. Here's Darrell Shannon around to King. Chris King puts it in front of his own goal. Whoa, shot, shovel, they rebound. Another shot, and that went off and up and out of play. So some good opportunities early in the hockey game. This is your Molson Dry Telecast. potatoes night after night it's hard to keep them interesting here's something new sour cream and chive perfect potatoes from shake and bake what's more perfect for potatoes than sour cream and chives and what's more perfect for you than a dish your family will love i mean why serve them something not so perfect and for a cheddar cheese taste shake up new zesty cheddar perfect potatoes only from shake and bake perfect potatoes the perfect solution Kiprios, the Rangers want him to play a tough physical game. They feel the new rules will really help him get in and forecheck, just like he did there on Stapleton. And another hit here on Shannon. Those are the kind of checks that the Rangers want from Kiprios. Now the puck is in the jet zone, centered out in front, taken by Newman, and a hand to Stapleton. He pokes it ahead, dumped into the Rangers zone by Shannon. Richter out of the net, sends it around to the boards. Ferraro gets it to Robotai, dumped out to center ice, and back into Jet territory. Newman steers it ahead to Shannon, off him all the way down. Richter out of his goal. Now sends it around. He'll be in a 
the horse momentarily by the Jets. Now turning it around is Mills. Mills had it knocked away from him back to center. And Newman it. puts it back into the Ranger zone. Samuelson straight up the middle. Ferraro. Left side. Here's Robitaille. Back to Ferraro. He fakes it. Now lets it go. Still a save. And Robitaille couldn't grab the rebound. Now the Jets start away. Taking out the center ice. With it as Mills gets in across the line. Mills dropped it for McKenzie. Knocked away from him. And Ferraro. Comes up the middle, gets to center ice, dumps a bouncer in wide of the jet goal. Back to get it is Darren Quinn. Quinn straight up the middle. Drives it, trying to drive it in. That hit Drake, and he's down. A couple of jets. Wilkinson and now Drake have both been hit by hard drives. This time from his teammate Darren Quinn. <laughs> they're dropping like flies. Everybody thinks they're goaltenders on the Winnipeg Jets. And you know what? As Drake will tell you, they're not equipped like Colt Pendles are. That one hurt. As you mentioned, Karpots have nailed Wilkinson earlier in the period, but Quint is just trying to put this puck in the zone. Out right off the knee. And that has to smart. The inside of the knee, and that's going to hurt for a while. Puck goes back into the Ranger zone. With it is Leach. Leach puts it over to Verbeek, back down to Leach. Long shot wide, back to get it for Winnipeg is Manson. Manson sends it ahead. Quinn trying to knock it out, can't. Puck goes free, picked up, here's a shot by Nemchinov. That's blocked, loose puck, Solani goes after it. Now Shemnov with it for Winnipeg to call it. Game ball back to Shemnov, moving in. Shemnov tried to beat Solani, and Richter knocked it away. Back at the blue line is Quint, dumps it in, it's cleared back out. And going deep to get it for Winnipeg is Manson. Manson and Quint are back up front. The line of Shemnov, Solani and Karlov. But Graves of the Rangers is out with Messier, knocks it in. Verbeek, the third man in that unit, in front of the goal. Now Quint gets the pass on outside to Karlov. Karlov to center ice, dumps it in. Richter dropped it aside for the veteran Kevin Lowe. His pass goes ahead, now taken by Karpontsev. Verbeek is flattened by Stapleton. Puck in behind the jet net. Daryl Shannon trying it for King. King trying to get out, does send it rink wide. Out to center ice, after it there. Was McKenzie, dropped it off, Stapleton to King, a shot! And Richter the same as King let that one go from the high slot. Well, King seems to be shooting the puck a lot more so far this season. He was rewarded for it the other night on a shot down the wing that went in, and here's a good chance to score right in the slot again. And Richter, look where he is. He's right in position on top of his crease. He was able to make that save look easy, although it wasn't an easy save. As you can see, the positioning of King is right in the middle of the ice. Richter, a good stand-up play. Pat for Beek with a long pass, and he gets dumped right at the blue line. The Jets stand up very well on that play. Mike Stapleton. Off the draw on the Rangers on back to the point. Wilkinson shot blocked by Graves. Now it's knocked loose. That's it for Beek. He's hauled down. And that could well be a penalty shot. In fact, it should be. He was wide open. Well, Messier is after the official. He wants one. Campbell's looking on patiently. I don't believe there will be one. Let's have a look and see. Watch for Beek to the left of your screen. He's going to take off as this shot is blocked. Wilkins' shot. And away he goes. And to Shannon, he'll get a stick in. Well, he didn't have possession of the puck, which is, I suppose, why he didn't have a penalty shot. But there wasn't a whole lot of doubt that he, uh, he was going to pull away in that situation. Not a bad dive, though, for Verbeek. Watch this little whoopsie-daisy. And you can see, as soon as he felt the stick in his midsection, he helped the official along a bit by taking a little bit of a dive, but that's a smart veteran play by Verbeek. Boy, all of a sudden, his skates left the ice, didn't they, Kurt? <laughs> Just all of a sudden. <laughs> so the chance will be shorthanded. That's the first penalty of the hockey game. And we'll get an opportunity to see the Rangers on a power play, which went 0 for 7 in Hartford. The thing about the game in Hartford that they keep talking about, though, is the performance of Sean Burke. I don't know that I've ever seen Sean Burke play a better game than he did in Hartford. I watched the game. He was extremely sharp. And Tim Chevrolet has been very good so far for the Winnipeg Jets. He made a terrific poke check save early. 
and then he made a couple of good solid angle saves as well and that's what he wants to do to get in the game he hasn't played this year yet he wanted to see the puck early and he has Daryl Shannon goes off for hooking so Messier for big and Graves up front of the power play and back at the points Alexander Karpovsev and Brian Leach Leach played 36 minutes in a game the other night in Hartford is that all <laughs> they gave him the night off <laughs> Eastwood off the draw lost it it goes back to Leach Leach puts it in behind the goal and it's dumped by Manson all the way down the ice Darren Shannon up front of the penalty killing roll along with Eastwood Manson and Quinn up the left side is this year. The ball gets it over the line, lets it go. Says Chevrolet rebound. Buck goes into the corner, knocked in behind. Manson finds some room and clears it away. Jets have done a nice job on the set or on the rebounds. The defense have cleared them well for Chevrolet. Here's Messier to Leach. Leach puts it in across the line. Manson is back. Manson trying to get it out. Can't that was blocked by Leach out front. Loose puck. And the Jets start away. Out to center ice is Drake. Drake gains the line. Drake with Turcotte fires it wide on the short side. It goes all the way back to center. Newman and Waits now drives it back in. A minute and two seconds left in the penalty to Darrell Shannon. No score. 7-11 gone. Opening period. Here's Robitaille. Two on one. Hit on one. Robitaille shot. And the save by Chevrolet. Drake knocks it all the way down. Back for it goes Samuelson. To Robitaille to Samuelson. Robitaille in the middle, gains the line, dropped it to Ferraro, back for Robitaille, knocked away by King, back to the point, Samuelson, sends it in deep now, Robitaille, hit front, Hawk goes into the corner, grabbed there by the Rangers, and trying to work it in front, it's in behind the goal, Robitaille, looks in front, Robitaille takes his time, 15 seconds in the penalty, Gets it to Samuelson. Samuelson back to the blue line. Lister shot that went wide. Drove a tie in front. And there's going to be another penalty. To the Winnipeg Jets, just as the one to Darrell Shannon expires. Here's Samuelson. Buck goes down to Messier. Messier, the Rangers with six attackers. Gives it to Samuelson. Samuelson gains the line. Gives to Ferraro. Back for Messier. Down B. And as the Jets gain possession, the whistle sounds. So we'll see a second consecutive look at the Ranger power play when we return. Winnipeg celebrates. Yes, it's Keystone Ford's ninth anniversary celebration. We're celebrating discounts. With $99 over invoice on all new 95 cars and trucks. We're celebrating low financing. Starting as low as 4.9% or a 1500 cash back. 99 over invoice on all 95. Even get special anniversary pricing on every used car and truck. Celebrating discounts. 99 over invoice. Low 4.9 financing. Or up to 1500 cash back. It's Keystone's ninth anniversary celebration. Don't miss it. Now you can print, copy, and fax all your documents right from your desktop. Introducing the Canon GP55 series from National Typewriter and Office Equipment. It's a 30-page per minute network printer, full-featured digital copier, and Canon's most powerful plain paper fax, all in one system that works on your network. Call National today at 9444777 and make your office more productive. With the Canon GP55 from National, now you can. Chris King cross-checked Ferraro in front of the net, so he's going to get a penalty for it. But just on the on the delayed penalty, I know it's early in the season, but here's Richter trying to get over the bench. Oops! Doesn't quite make it. That looks like... Uh, you give him a pillow. <laughs> Somebody should open the door for the poor guy. Now Manson sends it around to Darren Shannon. Shannon trying to poke it out. Can't the Rangers with a man advantage. It's along the boards, Manson, and Graves battle for it. Manson wins it, sends it rink wide. Messier is there. Goes back to the point to Leach. Leach gives it to Verbeek. Verbeek puts it into Messier. In behind the goal. Messier puts it back. And that was poked away from Karpovsev by Darren Shannon. As he moved right into the slot, now Leach with it. Gives it to Messier. Messier forced to circle by Manson. 
Dropped it to Leach. Leach gains the line. Dropped it out. Here's Big Gig. Shot. And Chevrolet knocked it away. Vincent is checked. It's taken by Leach. Stop. Shoots. And Chevrolet has been busy and has been sharp in this first period. Well, Leach with several good plays that last sequence. Tim Chevrolet is up on his feet. And he's making things look quite simple at the moment because he is in such good position. The Rangers have been using a lot of stretch passes so far this first period, particularly on their power play, and it's working. You'll see Leach come late as he does so well. A little drop pass, but there's nobody in front for the Rangers. The Rangers are going to have to get some traffic in front if they're going to be successful in their power play. So the Rangers, Kovalev, had it knocked away, gets it back now to the point of Leach. Leach puts it across to Kovalev. Here's Kovalev in front, knocked down, not cleared. Lidster back to Kovalev. Kovalev watched by Drake. 59 seconds left in the penalty. No score. Here's Kovalev with it again. Takes his time, lets it go, redirected wide. It goes down into the corner. With it there, Ferraro. Gets it back over to Kovalev with Robitaille in front, sends it back to Leach, a shot. That was knocked wide. Kovalev against Daryl Shannon. It's sent back toward the blue line. Can't stand Leach with it again. Leach fakes it. Now puts it into Robitaille. Robitaille back to Leach. Leach gets to the middle. Fakes it. Leach still with it. Now lets it go in deep. And with it is Kovalev. 20 seconds left in the jet penalty. Kovalev works outside. Now trying to cut in front. Gets Leach to shot. And at this minute, Daryl Shannon has some room and clears it all the way down. Seven seconds left in the penalty to Captain Chris King. Here's Leach. His pass knocked away. Cleared back to center. And then runs out the penalty. What a terrific job the Winnipeg Jet penalty killers did on this last power play by the Rangers. And Colin Campbell could not be too pleased as his power play was moving it very well, but they didn't get many good chances to score. Special teams, of course, are so important now with these new rules, and the Jets just did an excellent job. They kept the Rangers to the outside. Most of the shots on Tip Chevrolet Day were on the outside of the box, and they cleared all the rebounds for them. So the Jets just killed just over four minutes of manpower disadvantage, kind of the late penalty time. Here's Newman. Puts it up the middle, now to Shamnov. He works to center ice, trying to escape a check. Shamnov, there's going to be a penalty for the Rangers. Shamnov to Newman, and a shot that's blocked. Here's Solani. Solani works it back. Works his way through traffic, back to the blue line. His pass, Doig, lost possession. That brings about a stoppage in play, so he'll get a first look at the jet power play. Well, this is a good example of the new obstruction rules Presley was back checking on the play and he didn't have good position on the Winnipeg Jet player and he hooked him from behind and there's a zero tolerance for that now in the league and that's what is speeding up the league and this is a good opportunity for Timo Solani to get on the board and get their power play going, the Winnipeg Jet power play. Saw the Jets send out Shane Doan up front with Solani and Karnalab. Alexei Shamnov drops back to a point position alongside Tempo Numenen. Messier, who's barely been off the ice with the special team situations, is out once again to take the face off against Karlov. Karlov wins it to Newman. Gets it over to Shamnov. He shot back down in front. Loose puck. No one can't get to it. Here's Newman. Over to Shamnov to Newman. Messier without a stick. It goes back to Newman. Over to Shamnov. Shamnov to Solani. Solani over to Newman. Newman looks to Karlaff, feeds him the pass. Doan is in front. Karlaff back to Newman. Back to Karlaff. He puts it across. Yeah, but Solani shot. Richter save. Solani behind the net. It's sent up the boards and all the way down the ice. And that enables the Rangers to make changes. Here's Karlaff to Solani. Puts it into the corner. Boca Boom goes after it there. Manages to clear it to center. Newman has tried it for Shamnov. Shamnov working along the boards against Sundstrom. And Shinov joins in. Watt goes out towards Solani. Leach beat him to it. Dumped it in. One minute left in that penalty to Presley. No score. 
12 minutes gone in the opening period. Jets make some changes. Now it's Darren Quint, works his way out to center ice, gets it to Eastwood. Eastwood drives it in. Leach goes after the Darren Shannon. They battle for it along the boards just inside the Ranger line. It's picked up now by Eastwood. Eastwood spins to the outside, looks back toward Turcotte, feeds the blue line to Quint. Hit front! Richter got a piece of it. Now Eastwood, in behind, sends it back to the point. Quint shot! Hit at the goal post. Here's Eastwood, back to the point. Manson shot, Richter save, rebound, and it's cleared out of play. Well, Quint hit the goal post from the shot from the point. He did a smart thing. He just filtered it through. But the Jets did a nice job, that power play, of winning the battles on the boards. And that enabled them to get the position. And here they're just a little shot from the point, and Richter just gets his left pad on it as the Jets have terrific traffic in front of them. But I was impressed the way Quint just put it on net. Sometimes it doesn't have to be a hard shot. As long as you hit the net and get it through, and that's what Quint did on both shots. One hit the post, and Richter had to make a nice pad save on another. Highest scoring defenseman of the Western Hockey League last year. Didn't play in the last game due to disciplinary reasons. Late for practice, and Barry Simpson joined the rookie early as the Jets did years ago with Brian Marchman. Through the bosses. Now the puck is sent toward the blue line. And out the center. Here's Messier. Bumps into the Jets on. Let's it go. And Chevrolet grabs and holds. Six seconds left in the penalty to Presley. Well, that's vintage Mark Messier. Great speed down the wing. And then everybody keep an eye on his backswing. Here he goes, down the wing. He gets it away in such a hurry. See that short backswing? And that almost fools Tim Chevrolet. And once again, we've seen this so many times from Mark Messe. He's looking up the corner of his eye, but he doesn't take that great big huge slap shot, a short backswing, and that enables him to get the puck away in a hurry. And that puck is rolling as well. And anytime it's rolling, it's very difficult for a goaltender can dip and dive on you. Face off a little bit of the right of Tim Chevelday. Jamnov and Messier. Messier wins the draw. The quick shot. Not much on it. Now Messier in the corner. Tried to drive it in. Chevelday knocked it down. It's in back to the blue line. Shot from the point. That goes wide. Solani with it. The penalty is over. Buck goes back into the Jets on Manson. Puts it in behind his net. Picked up there by Messier. Messier goes to the outside with Jamnov. Messier working with it, now Solani managed to get it to Jemnov. Jemnov works his way to center, gains the line, works down deep, falls, puck grabbed by Lowe. Lowe gets through his own free, sends it ahead to Messier. Messier's pass got caught up in feet, now it's along the boards, four of them battle for it there, and play is whistled down. So no score, but plenty of action in period one, six and a half left. Play Safeway, score and win. When the Jets score on CKND, you could win an IBM Aptiva multimedia computer, a GE Spacemaker 2 microwave oven, Dirt Devil's MVP and Dust Devil from Royal Appliance, or $300 in MasterCard Traveler's checks from the Bank of Montreal. You could also win a trip or two to Mazatlan, Mexico, courtesy of Canadian Holidays, Canada's largest vacation company. Safeway's participating products, ABC laundry detergent, and Kleenex facial tissues. Score and win at Safeway. Today's better away. you to join Kerry Wilson and Joe Pascucci and kind of a feature on the Jet Rookies. And they have rookies of plenty, four of them, in the lineup again tonight. And John Paddock and his scouting staff have really done a good job picking up these young players. I don't think there's a team in the league that have four rookies in their lineup right now that are playing and playing so well. And all are teenagers. Now the puck in the center ice area. Jumped all the way down into Ranger territory. Now with it, Lidster. Lidster puts it outside the zone. 
with it there as Wilkinson who puts it back in. Lidster again, trying it for Robitaille, dumped it all the way down the ice and back forward is Darrell Shannon for Winnipeg. 5.55 left in the opening period, no score. Rangers have yet to score a goal on the season. Clock in the center ice area. It's taken by Darrell Shannon. Darrell it was, dumped it in. And going back forward is Al Samuelson. For many years, they love to hate this guy here. Suddenly he's a hero. He puts it up to the jet line. It rolls all the way down. And back to get it is Turcotte. Turcotte behind the net is checked in center. And Chevalier covers up on it. Well, stay with us in tonight's post-game show for the crunch of the game. <laughs> Brought to you by Vernas Auto Body, 160 Higgins Avenue in Winnipeg. The crunch of the game. Well, Perry Simpson told me this morning with the new rules, and I hate to keep dwelling on them, but there's so much more speed in the neutral zone. He wants his defensemen not really to pick, but to keep the ice that they have and just skate in front of players to give the other defenseman partner a little more time. You can't do it if you're behind the man, but if you have that ice, you can use it. Now they dropped it unfairly. Mark Messier, he's been around forever. 79, he came into the league with the Otters of that young, eventual dream team of theirs. And yet, to this day, I mean, he's played at least half this period. You can see Turcotte has the assignment against Mark Messier so far this first period. He's done a nice job. Watch him on face-offs. He's a very effective face-off man, and if you're in a checking role, you have to win face-offs to be successful. Now well, Messi and Turcotte evicted now, so it'll be Graves against Drake. It goes to Turcotte. He works it out to center ice. Turcotte with Dome trying to slip it up. Here Dome goes in. Richter the save. Now Richter dropped it aside. It's set up to alert the blue line. Going after a loose puck is Verbeek. Verbeek trying to cut out the net. Now puts it across. It goes out. Graves into the corner. Graves behind the net to Messier. Messier looked in front, and that pass goes to Turcotte. Turcotte to center, drives it into Ranger territory. Graves is back to get it. Graves pass, Rick wide for Messier, tied up by King, puck goes free. Darrell Shannon fires it back here. Leach along the boards. Verbeek is there as well. King joins in. Puck is taken away by McKenzie dumped in behind the net. And now the Rangers will try to get something organized with four and a half left in the scoreless opening period. It's brought up straight up the middle. Bukabu gets to the line. Stopped there by King. King is knocked down. Now the puck goes free in the center ice area. McKenzie against Lowe. Following up, Stapleton dumps it in. Bukabu is back. Around for Coaster. He's checked. McKenzie puts it in front. And Lowe. Moves it up on the left side. That's taken it across the line. Here's Coaster. One ends it in front. And it's grabbed by King. King with Stapleton to center. King just dumps it in, goes for a change. And back to get it. Another veteran of that 79-80 team in Edmonton. Kevin Lowe puts the pass to Kiprios. It's dumped all the way down. Out of the net is Shevelday. He puts it into the corner. Center to Quinn. Again, in front of an empty net. Sends it out to center. Now Solani, hung him over the right side, lets it go, Richter the save, and he covered it up. That time, Korolev got Solani on the fly on the right way. 3.33 left in a scoreless opening period. For just a kick back, relax. Would you like a drink to go with your world-famous award-winning ribs grilled to perfection kind of place? Tony Roma's, famous for ribs. Two Winnipeg locations, dine-in, take-out, and free home delivery were available. The best start back, this ball on Winnipeg TV. Very strange. I've never heard of anything like this. Thank you. This is going to work out just fine. The best start back, this ball on Winnipeg TV. CKND Sportsline is bringing the world to Winnipeg when the WWF goes to the mat Sunday, October 22nd in the Winnipeg Arena. Watch Sportsline for your chance to win tickets to the WWF in your house event Sunday, October 22nd at the arena. Be there when Winnipeg entertains the world. For the best of sports and more, watch Sportsline weeknights at 11 on CKND Winnipeg TV. Now get a 28-point winter inspection, oil, lube, and filter, tire rotation, and a 4-liter jug of washer fluid, all for just $24.99, only at Canadian Tire.
face off in the Rangers zone. Off the drive goes into the corner, picked up there by Samuelson to Lidster. His pass on the right side. Now to center ice. Quint is checked. And Tinov after it, shoveled out of the goal. Can't clear it out. It goes down into the corner. And Tinov works with it. Centers. It's taken away now by Korolev. Korolev with four goals in the Jets' opening two games. Works it to center ice. Dumps it down into the Rangers zone. Richter out of the goal. Sends it up the boards. That's taken by Sundstrom. Not out. Quick shot from the blue line. That's knocked down. And Lister pounced on a loose puck. Sends it to center. Quint fires it back in. And going deep to get it is Samuelson. 2.53 left in the opening period. Here's Lister. Center ice. No score. Drives it in. Chevrolet. Stops it. And puts it around. Here's Mills with it. Mills to Shannon. Trying it ahead for Mills. That was picked off by Kovalev. And Doig is checked by Robitai. His pass went across. Morrow couldn't handle. And Newman straight up the middle. Here's Mills. Center ice. Gets up to the line, dropped it off, taken in over the line. Shannon moving in for Winnipeg. Shannon in front. Here's going to backhand, rebounding, but they bang away. And it's hit back to the blue line. Now Kovalev, three on two for the Rangers. His pass, Ferraro. Had trouble with a rolling puck. Working there against Newman. Puck goes free. Newman comes out with it. Gives it to Mills. He dumps it in. And going back to get it for New York is Bukabu. Ahead for Robitaille. To Leach. Brink wide. Daryl Shannon with it now for Winnipeg. Tried it for Drake. It went by him. Now Drake, a big collision with Bukabu. It's dumped down deep into the jet zone. Daryl Shannon behind the net. Watch there by Kovalev. Messier out again. Shannon's pass to Drake. Center ice. Drake trying to poke it by. That was cut off and cleared back into the jet zone by Karpatsev. Now it goes up the left side to Drake. Drake trying to get by Karpatsev. Pokes it in deep. Don't goes after it. Knocked into the Ranger corner. A minute 20 left in the scoreless opening period. It's on the boards in the Ranger zone. Again, that draws a crowd. Now Wilkinson comes up. Hit from the shot by Turcott. That hit low. Punt was into the corner. Graves trying to work it out. He dumped it to center. Wilkinson knocked it down. Gets it to Turcott. Turcott drives it in. Now deep to pick it up. His car pops it. Sends it down. Here's Messier. He shot. Rebound. Shovel day. It went off. Hit just prickled wide. The Jets come back. Here's Carl out. At center. On the move. Hit over the line. And it's offside. Well, both goaltenders have been very, very strong this first period. Tim Chevrolet with a good save on Messier and company. And at the other end, Mike Rector had to be tough just before that. But here comes Messier here. Chevrolet again with a little bit of a rebound. Verbeek just can't shovel it by him. Chevrolet does not know where it is. But that's the advantage of being a big goaltender. Sometimes when you spread out, it hits you and goes wide. 41 seconds left in an entertaining opening period. Here's Solani working it along the boards. Looks back, he's checked. And the Rangers start out. It's taken as far as center, dumped into the jet zone by Presley. Quint tried it for Solani. The shot knocked down, stepped in toward the net. Rebound low, popped up to wide. In behind the net, Presley puts it into the crease. A scramble, a pile up of bodies. There's no goal, but I don't think anybody knows where the puck is. <laughs> well, Presley, who was picked up by the Rangers from the Buffalo Sabres as a free agent, he is always in the crease. But here's how it all starts. A giveaway by Manson right on them, Sheena's body. And that creates all kinds of problems for the Jets. And watch Presley, he'll bring it to the net. And that's a smart play. If you don't have a play, just bring the puck to the net and then jam the net. And this one almost squeaks through. And there's a lot of pushing and shoving and the whistle goes before the puck crosses the line. Now one thing the Jets were hoping to get this year to Dave Manson was a higher level of more consistent play. He'll play a lot. Of course, Terry Simpson, the head coach of the Jets, was his coach back in junior in the days in Prince Albert with the Raiders and championship teams there. Eastwood and Messier, 15 seconds left. Up the draw, the quick shot. 
Chevrolet thought he had it, heard some noise, and looked over the shoulder. That's always a kind of a defeatist attitude from a goalie. Well, this is a tough save as well because Robitaille turns around, but somebody has to block Robitaille on this play. He sneaks in and lets it go in a hurry. That's a good example of what a terrific release Robitaille has, and Chevrolet had to be very sharp on that play. 12 seconds left this time. The faceoff won by the Jets, but it's center on. Leach manages to hold it in. Now it's dumped out by the Jets, and that should do it for the opening period as Bukabul kills the clock. Well, a pretty strong opening. Chevrolet was very, very strong in goal. Kept the Jets in the first period. And I think the key to the period for the Jets was they killed back-to-back -back penalties about halfway through this first period. The penalty killers did an excellent job. And they're in perfect position. They're in going after one, tied 0-0. Rangers outshot the Jets 16-9 in that opening period. Up next, Joe Pascucci with Kerry Wilson. The score at the end of the first period is the Rangers nothing, the Jets nothing. Well, we're scoreless at Madison Square Gardens between the Winnipeg Jets and the New York Rangers and Kerry Wilson. The reason why this game is still scoreless is because of the play of Tim Shovelday in that first period, a surprise starter to many. He was. He was a surprise starter to me. I would have thought that uh, Terry Simpson would uh, go with Javi Bullen, who finished uh, you know, a great uh, third period against Anaheim, stopping 18 shots. And I, he said earlier he was going to go with what was hot, but he went back with uh, 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 Chevy's record against uh, New York, and, and it uh, so far it's turning out to be a great decision. Well, Chevy is definitely hot against the Rangers, 7-3-3 three three lifetime, and... He's undefeated in his last three games. Let's show you some of the 16 saves that he did make in that first period. The number of them were off Mark Messier. They were. He came down. He, he had a Mark had an excellent period. Took a lot of shots. And here, uh, New York created a three-on-two for himself. And uh, Ness pulls it back. And uh, instead of taking the shot, he dishes it off to I think it's Verbeek on the right side and gets a, an excellent poke check by Shevelday. He's doing a, an extremely good job of cutting down the angles. Here again, we uh, we look at the monitor and and. Uh, we get poke checked, and there's a there's a good shot by the Rangers, and again a great blocker save by Shevelday. He's doing an excellent job of coming out, cutting down the angles, and, and uh, taking away a lot of net. Again, here we see Mark Messier. We talked about him coming down the left side, and he is very powerful there. Comes down, and already you can see uh, Chevy's way out of his net, takes away a lot of the net, and makes a great glove hand save. And the save that he the back to back save that he made just at the end of the period there. It was here again. He's, he makes the good first save and a great leg save to get that uh, second one on Verbeek. And, uh, but for the most part, I think Winnipeg has been uh, getting the, uh, the rebounds away from Chevy and helping him out. But uh, still, most of the credit's got to go to Chevy in the net for that period. I hope every uh, Jet in the dressing room is giving him a well-deserved pat on the pad. And I'm sure they are. Well, great first period for Tim Shovelday. Still more to come in our first intermission. Coming up next, we're going to go between periods with the Winnipeg Jets. We're scoreless between the Jets and the Rangers at MSG. Well, one period down, two more to go at MSG as the Jets hope to extend their winning streak to three games. This season, during our Sea Candy telecast, we'll be presenting a new segment we're calling between periods, it will deal with all the current issues surrounding the Winnipeg Jets. And after two games, the Jets have been a surprise with back-to-back -back wins over the Stars and the Ducks. Some unlikely sources have contributed to those victories, as you'll see in tonight's week. One yard is poke check. Here's a chance. Wilkinson on a partial breakaway. Wilkinson short-handed. Moving it to... Left wing pass. King scores. Chris King got just enough on it to trickle it through Amir. Going for the right point. Put it right through Bowles. Who do you send down? That's been the Jets' dilemma. Four rookies set their sights on starting. Shane Doan was the most pleasant surprise after a mediocre rookie camp. Since they'd taken me in the first round, I felt I had to prove that I was, I was worthy of that and that I, I had to be able to uh, do different things with the puck, be really offensive, be really finesse and stuff. And that's not my game. My game's just uh, play physical and, and up and down the wall and, and do whatever else I can to help out the team. Darren Quinn was no surprise. He has shown that he can lug the puck out of his own end exactly what the Jets expected. 
for Craig Mills, his time on the line with former hockey school tutor Chris King has been a bonus. A few of my buddies uh, were, uh, we went to his camp up in Muskoka. And it's funny, I mean, the uh, majority of them, they don't play hockey anymore, and, and I'm still playing, so I guess the big joke is that uh, they were all listening and I wasn't. He's a little, uh, a little water bug out there. I mean, he's, he's not a big guy, but he's solid. He's not afraid of anything. And uh, I mean, he's an exciting guy to watch and certainly an exciting guy to play with when he, at that age, knows, uh, knows exactly where he's supposed to be. It's already been a season to remember for the Ross of the rookies, Jason Doy. Team chemistry is an elusive and enigmatic element. But this year, Terry Simpson says he has a good dressing room. We think that the, the work ethic that the team uh, distributed throughout the training camp has, has got us to a point where there's a, there's a chance to have you know, some pretty good chemistry on the team. Uh, we have some, some new people in, some younger players in that really I think that if they're capable of playing, I think they can add a little bit of youthful enthusiasm in the locker room. And I think the, the veteran players respond to that and, and I think they have a lot, of, a lot of fun with the younger players and sort of I guess teaching them the ropes in one manner, but I think they take some 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 pride in, in helping these young guys along. So that has a tendency to draw people together as well. Finally, a big between period raspberry, the Eastern Hockey prognosticators who have written the Jets off as a lame duck team. I mean, the easy story is going to be the fact that this is going to be the last uh, season here. It's going to be a lame duck franchise and. Uh, you know, how are the players going to react to that? But, you know, talking to a lot of the players this year, they have said that, if anything, this season is going to be far more secure for them than, than a year ago because now they know what their fates are. And nothing lame about the Winnipeg Jets' performance this season and in tonight's game by Tim Shevel. They were scoreless between the Jets and the Rangers. We'll get you caught up on what's happening around the NHL with the MTS scoreboard coming up right after this. CKND is brought to you in part by MTS, Canadian Tire, Winnipeg Jeep Eagle, 1430 Ellis at Arena Road, and by McDonald's. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. Kurt Gill back with Greg Millen back at Madison Square Garden in the first period. There was no scoring. Three penalties, two of them against the Winnipeg Jets. The shots on goal, 16 to 9 in favor of the New York Rangers. So the Rangers have had 53 shots on goal to this point of the season and have yet to score. Tim Chevalier, outstanding. And I know that uh, as an ex-goaltender, that's something that you particularly enjoy. <laughs> well, I always like to see good goaltending in any hockey game, and certainly Tim was excellent that first period. You know, he told me this morning that the last game he played as a Red Wing was right in this very building, a 5-3 win. So he likes the New York Rangers, and he likes playing here. And he looked cool, he looked confident. He's had some problems the last couple of years, and of course, one of the reasons why he is no longer uh, to Fred Red Wing, he was acquired for Bob Essenzu, who at that time was experiencing problems as a Winnipeg Jet. But in this, his debut in his first period, he certainly looks to have some confidence going for him. Mike Richter at the opposite end of the ice. Well, and speaking with Perry Pern between periods, they want to close up the neutral zone, the Winnipeg Jets, this second period. They felt that the Rangers were using a little bit too much speed through the neutral zone. So let's watch for that early. Ray Ferraro and Mike Eastwood prepare for the opening faceoff from referee Mark Fossett. It goes to Darren Quint. The mobile defenseman drives it into the Ranger zone. Going after it is Mills, puts it out in front of Leach. Starts away quickly. His pass on the right side, just too far for Kovalev. Now Chevrolet sends it up the board, sends count. Here's Ferraro, it's right in front shot. He scored! Ray Ferraro! Bounced on his own rebound, and nobody touched him. It's one nothing. the Rangers' first goal of the season. Well, in the press this morning, Ray Ferrero told everybody he knows why he was acquired by the New York Rangers, and that was to score goals. Now, he's going to come off the wall here. Now, good goal tennis scores will always stay with their rebound. A great first save by several Day, but... Absolutely no chance, and Ferrero stays with the rebound and doesn't fade away from the net. 
Watch for all your young players. A great save by Sheffield David. Watch, he stays with the rebound, doesn't fade away from the goal, and that gave him an opportunity to pop the rebound in past Sheffield David. So it's one nothing for the Rangers. Now Leach bumps into the chips. Of Leach cuts out the net. And went just wide. In behind the net now is for big. Jared Gock runs into his man. It's picked up now. The Jets clear it out to center ice. Robitaille draws the assist on that goal by Ferraro. And the puck is out of play. A lot of teams were after Ray Ferraro in the summer. Because he can score goals and he's a tricky player to play against. And so, of course, is Leach. And watch him cut towards the goal on this play. And protect the puck with his body and his skates. And a pretty good play by Doig just to fend them off as he's about to put it into the goal. But watch his skate position, protect the puck as he cuts in. And a good hook by Doig right at the very last second, or that would have been a goal. Clock goes into the Rangers zone, and now it's brought back by Samuelson. He works it out to center ice. The pass to Grands with Burbeek. Grands gains the line, works it along the boards, puts it in behind the net. Chevrolet leads it there. Now Doig looks for some room, gets it out to center ice. Kirkcott gives chase, checked by Messier. He puts it back. Now it's dumped to center, grabbed there by Drake. Drake tried it for Doan. Doan dumps it in, and Samuelson retreats to pick it up. Gets it over to Verbeek. Verbeek's pass, right side, Lister. Over now to Messier. Messier dumps it in. And Chevrolet leaves it behind the net. The Jets start away. Here's Manson, tried it for Corla. Corla moving in a shot. Richter the save. It's in behind the net. And it's picked up by Leach. Here's Leach up the right side, works the center, trying to work by Manson. Manson cut him off, jammed off, puts it rink wide, Quinn. Back to center ice, Korolev, stops, gives to Shemnov. Shemnov trying to work in front, over for Solani. Solani behind the net for Korolev. Korolev surrounded by Rangers, manages to knock the puck loose to Solani. Solani puts it back into the pile. Leach trying to clear, he did. And going back to get it is Manson with Presley after him. Gevelding elects to play it out to Quinn. Quinn flips it high. Knocked down in for a shot. Gevelding the save on that shot that was redirected by Presley. It's in behind the net. Grove aside. Back to the point. Moving it to Portsmouth. That shot of the lane at the post. Penalty coming to the Jets. <laughs> The Jets are going to get the game for the traffic in front of the net. And I believe it's Korolev that's going to get it. This all starts originally by Quint. He's going to give the puck away. This puck has to go up the sideboards and off the glass, and it doesn't. And that creates a good scoring chance for the Rangers by Presley in front. And anytime you have an initial giveaway and you get running around, it creates havoc. A good play by Kropotsov to hold on to the puck. Right there in front, Kovalev has Presley all tied up. And again, maybe last year this may not have been called. But because of the new obstruction rules, you could not put your hand out like Kovalev did in front of the goal there on Presley. Saigar Korolev into the penalty box at 2.37. And the Rangers with a man advantage for the third time tonight. Now the Jets. Newman and Dempson all the way down the ice. And going back to get it for the Rangers is Karpatsev. He gives it to Robitaille. Robitaille leading the power play out towards center ice. Takes it over the jet line, dropped it off. With it there is Kovalev. His shot blocked by Eastwood. Now Karpatsev sends it back to center. Newman anticipated was there to dump it in. One thing the Jets are doing very well, they're playing high on the Ranger defense so the Rangers can't one-time the puck from the point. Now it's brought in by the Rangers. Here's Kovalev. Puts the pass over to Leach. Leach puts it in behind the net. Sit back down for Kovalev. Gets into that box. Kovalev puts it down into the corner to Ferrero. Put it through the crease. Leach a shot. And it went off a jet. Dallas Drake. And it's a souvenir. The Rangers are looking for the point shot from Leach. And they want to jam the net. And as I mentioned, the Jets are doing a nice job. Look at how high their forwards are. Well up high. 
And then the box will collapse down low again. They try this crease pass, but again, Drake is right on top of Leach, paying special attention to him, and he knocks that puck out of play. Mark Messier comes out now on the power play. Messier had five shots on goal in the first period. Five of the 16 the Rangers took. They all went for naught, but here early in the first, Ferraro scored 21 seconds in from Robitaille. It's 1-0 New York. Rangers with a man advantage. It goes to Leach. Leach fakes it down, puts it over to Messier. He puts it in behind the net for big centers, knocked away by Shannon. Darrell Shannon, puck goes to the corner. With it is Messier. Handed it right to Wilkinson. He gives to Turcotte. He puts it outside, and with it there is Graves. 41 seconds left in the Jet penalty. It's dumped into the Jet zone. Shoveled in. Puts it behind the net for Wilkinson. Wilkinson tried it for Turcotte. It's knocked back into the corner to Messier. Back to the point, Leach. Leach looks over at Lister, hands on the puck. Lister back now to Leach. He lets it go, that was blocked. Leach gets it again to Lister. Lister, his shot goes out Turcotte and up high out of play. Another good example right there. How Lister had the shot at the point. But Turcotte was all over him. And the Rangers just can't seem to get anything going at all because the Jets are doing such a good job of covering the point. 17 seconds left in that penalty to Igor Korolev. 1-0 the Rangers lead. 2 minutes and 20 or 4 minutes and 20 seconds gone in the second period. Stapleton and Messier just inside the jet line. It's went cleanly by Stapleton back to Manson. And he drives it all the way down. Richter kind of jumped at it. He's going over top of the net. Here's Blow behind the net. Richter seems a little unsure on those long shots. Bucket center ice. Here's Karpatsev. Gets over the jet line. Now, Carl, that knocked it loose. And here's King. Out to center. Gains the line. He lets it go. And goes off low. And it's out of play. This is your Bolson Dry Delicats. If you're serious about driving, the 1996 Pontiac Sunfire Coupe, 14840, catch it only at your Pontiac dealers. If you're looking for excitement, the 1996 Pontiac Sunfire Coupe, 14840, catch it only at your Pontiac dealers. Whether you're warming up or hitting full stride, you want to look and feel your best. At Athletes Wear, we've got the best selection for all your clothing and footwear needs. Get the jump on the competition with the Brooks Monterra 2 Indoor Court Shoe. This Brooks shoe is ideal for volleyball or any other indoor court sport. And look at this winning price, just $34.88. Athletes Wear, still the right choice. The choice is there. nothing the Rangers leading the Jets nearing the five minute mark of the second period off the drawn Ranger territory it goes to Karpatsev in behind his net watch there by Stapleton puts the pass over on the right side now sent out over center all the way down the ice that's over two lines and his whistle down Bill Kirscher played all of 37 seconds in game one for the New York Rangers I guess it's no secret what he gets paid to do and that's play tough and fight that he wasn't going to take any nonsense at all this year from anybody at the start of this season. So we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Well, he's he's one of the top guys in the league. I'll never forget, and I don't think anybody who's watching the game will ever forget the time he and Jim Kite went at it. Kite's never quite been the same since. A kosher haymaker. Now it's dumped all the way down the ice, and back to get it is Kevin Lowe in behind his goal. Low steps in front, looks out to center ice, dumped into the jet zone. Chevalde out of his goal, puts it into the corner. Closer centers it. Here's a weak shot, knocked away by Chevalde. And now Stapleton ahead to McKenzie. Puts it back to the Ranger line. Karpatsev having trouble with it there against King. Puck goes free, now picked up by Stapleton. Stapleton's pass stopped at center ice. Everything clogged up in the neutral zone. Now Stapleton dumps it in. 
Going back to get it is low. Solani after him. It's sent to the corner. Kapatsev up the right side to Koster. Koster to center. Dumped it into Jeff Territory. Chevrolet leaves it behind. Now it's picked up. Center. The shot by Lidster. And the puck goes free. Back to the point. Samuelson rebounded for backhand. That was put wide by Nemtinov. It bounced in front again. Nemtinov goes after it. Gets a free quick shot. And the save by Chevrolet. Puck into the corner. Mason working for it. It goes back to Lidster. And that goes up and out of play. That just developed out of nowhere, Greg. Well, it did, but several days made three or four great saves. But goaltenders are going to have to be a lot more active this season once again because of the fact that the forwards are getting in in a hurry. And look at the pressure as Chevrolet gave the puck away originally, and that creates all this pressure on him. But three or four good saves, the Jets once again do an excellent job of clearing the second shot away, although Chevrolet made two or three excellent saves on the first save. Rangers. Rangers about shot the Jets 23 to 10 to this stage. Jets have had one shot in the second period. But there's the giveaway I was talking about. You can see the pressure that Tin Chevrolet had on him from the first four checker. That's because nobody can hold him up anymore. And the goaltenders in the league are going to have to handle the puck a lot more than they ever have. Here's Darryl Shannon. Looks ahead from McKenzie. Now to Darren Shannon. Out to center ice with Mills. He moves to the outside. Dumps it in behind the net. Eastwood goes after it. Eastwood try to center. It's sent back to the point. Here's a shot from the blue line by Wilkinson. That was blocked. And it's tried out to center by Samuelson. Put into Jeff Territory. After it there, Kovalev looks in front, puts it there. And it's taken by Darrell Shannon. His pass, right side Eastwood. Dropped it to Mills. Drives it in. After it, Darren Shannon down to the corner with Samuelson. They collide. It's dug out. Sent out to center ice, his Kovalev. Gets it over the line. Kova looked in front. The pass. They score. Lister. Well, Lister follows the play up. But let's see what happens in the neutral zone. A Winnipeg Jet player went down. Look, he just falls. That creates a two-on-one. And Kovalev holds Chevrolet, holds the defense, and makes a beautiful stick-to-stick -stick pass to Lister, who did the right thing. He followed the play right to the far goal post. So watch the lane by Kovalev here. That holds everybody, the defenseman and the goaltender. And what a great pass right on the stick of Lister. And that's just a pretty goal. Offside wingers, a tough play for the goaltender as well. He's got to play the shooter. And he had no chance at all, Tim Chevrolet, on that goal. So it's 2 to nothing for the Rangers. And they come back again again. It's Leach moves in front. Ground off. Here's the shot. Knocked down in front. And cleared all the way down the ice. Richter puts it into the corner. It's in up along the board. Turcott trying to hold it in. Now Leach gets it ahead to Burby. Burbeek with Messier to his right. Gets to the line, dropped it to Messier. Messier is checked. Now Drake gives it to Turcotte with Dome. Turcotte shot that was blocked by Bokabu. Leach with it now. Over to Messier. Messier's pass into the middle to Graves. Graves gains the line. Had it not going. Here's Burbeek shot. And that went wide. Messier in the corner with Manson. Messier muscles it. Gets it back to the point to low. Into Messier. Messier hit by Graves. He shot. And the Jets coming out to center. Rangers have the Jets on her heel. It's down deep in Jet territory, but it's called on the outside. 7 17 gone in a second. 2 0 Rangers. We're going to get you over this expensive notion, so work with me, will you? Sure, would you take a seat on this fine Goodyear tire, just to make a point? Nice ride, huh? You'll find more people riding on Goodyear tires than any other. Do you think those people have money to burn? Nuh-uh. We've got your tire whatever you drive. Regatta, lowest price of the year. Price buster from $29.99. Rebates up to $100 off four selected tires. See your retailer now. Uh-oh. Those pesky tread marks. So come on down. Come to Sears this fall and you'll find all the right menswear at all the right prices. 
Names like Protocol and Intercept. Only Sears has them. Clothes you can really live in at prices you can really live with. Great looks for fall? <laughs> that's easy. Great looks at a great price? That's Sears. Expect more from Sears. Now, Safeway Star Win is back with us this year. And as Jets are hoping they can give away some uh, Safeway products before the night is over. And as well, if any Jet should uh, draw a hat trick, then uh, the winner would, uh, somebody would instantly win a fabulous Canadian holiday trip for two to Mazatlan, Mexico. On the Safeway, score and win. Now it's dumped into the Jets on 2-0. The Rangers lead it. Newman and in behind his goal. Sends it over on the right side. That's taken in across the line by Drake. Drake works it along the boards. It goes down to the corner. And now it's centered. And dumped all the way down the ice by the Rangers. Going back to get it is Newman. Chevrolet is out of the goal. Jam off to Newman. Newman starts away. Rangers, Kevin Lowe. Took a penalty at that last whistle. Jim to the man advantage. Here's Jemnoff. Goes to the outside. Here's Jemnoff back at the point. Gives to Newman and a shot. Rebound. Here's the they score. Dallas Drake on the rebound. A power play goal for the Jets. And it's a 2-1 hockey game. Well, a perfect play by the Jets power play as Jamnoff feeds the puck over to Newman. And and he has one of the best one-timers in the league. He makes no mistake. The key to this is he puts it on net. And Drake drives the rebound. And Mike Richter doesn't have any chance at all. But that's an excellent power play goal by the Jets. Let's have a look at the Ranger box here and see why they collapse so low. They're way too low. And Jamnoff reads that. Finds Newman. And he gets it through. That's the key to this goal. And watch to the right of your frame. Drake has his stick on the ice, and he doesn't go by the net. He stays with it. That's a good power play goal by the Jets, and Jamnoff with a perfect pass to Newmanen. So Drake from Newmanen and Jamnoff will be the scoring play on the power play. Here's Quint. Gets up to the Ranger line. Trying to worm his way through. It's knocked away. And the Rangers come back. With it is Robitaille. Robitaille down there. Puts it out in front, and it's flipped just wide of the net. By Ferraro. Puck is sent back to center ice. Lidster with it now for New York. Gets it ahead to Ferraro. His pass over for Robitaille. Robitaille stops. Dropped it off. His Robitaille shot right off the back. They score. Kovalev. The rebound came off the backboard. He put it into an empty net. Well, these goals are killers. You don't want to let the other team score after you just get a big goal to get yourself back in the game. But how about this play by Robitaille? Great turn back, skill play, and everybody leaves him alone. He misses the net, but the boards are so lively up in here in New York. And Kovalev is right in position to get the, get the rebound. And it was 32 seconds between these two goals, and you just can't allow that to happen. And that's a big goal for the New York Rangers and a bad break for the Jets. 3-1, the Rangers lead. Nearing the midway mark of the second period. Here's Messier on the center ice. Dumps it into the jet zone. Chevrolet out of the goal. Sends it up the boards. Lister at center. Puts it back into jet territory. Brought out by Daryl Shannon. He moves to center. Puts it over the line. Doan goes after it. Doan against Messier. Drake joins in. Puts it out in front. And the Rangers start away. Verbeek on the right side. Messier working there against Daryl Shannon. Who ties him up along the boards. Graves goes in to get the puck. Graves and Doan. And they're joined by several others. Including Messier who puts it back. Shot. Save. Rebound. And it's picked up by Wilkinson who can't get out. Lowe drives it in behind the net. Chevrolet moves out. Gives it to Wilkinson. He fanned on a clearing attempt. Bag it goes to Lowe. He hands it to Turka. He can fly. Turka trying to find room. And his check. Puck goes free to Graves. Graves sends it to center. With it there is Shannon. Darryl Shannon dumps it in. Lowe. Into the corner. Check by Solani. Solani in front. And Newman couldn't contain the pass. As he moved into the high slot. Puck is sent all the way down the ice. Here's Doig. 
Doig trying to get by, can't, now has a second chance, puts it ahead to Carl out. His pass into Newman, and Newman and gets over the line. Newman and down deep, looks in front, puts it in front, bouncing puck, and the Rangers start back with it. Here's Sundstrom, dumped it into the jet zone. Shovel there again out of the goal. Shovels it to the other side, Leach waits, he lets it go, and Shovel Day grabs and holds. So an explosion of scoring here in the second period. The Rangers lead it 3-1. Demonstrate how a peanut butter can be so extraordinarily creamy it actually melts in your mouth. We've secretly replaced Mrs. Jones's regular peanut butter with Kraft's new extra creamy peanut butter. However, today Mrs. Jones chose a banana. So we replaced Mrs. Jones. Triple blended to be our creamiest peanut butter yet. Kraft's new extra creamy peanut butter. It's melt in your mouth good. This is it. Furniture Galleria closes forever Sunday at 6 p.m. We're closed now, but on Thursday we'll open for our absolute final four days of once-in-a-lifetime savings. If you've been waiting, don't you dare wait anymore. It all starts Thursday. We're just a friendly, hope you can enjoy our world-famous ribs or chicken or burgers or shrimp or salad or whatever you like to eat kind of place. Tony Roma's, famous for ribs and a whole lot more. Two Winnipeg locations, dine-in, take-out, and free home delivery were available. 3-1, the Rangers lay the jet goal was scored by Dallas Drake. So we have a winner in our safely scored win contest. This is B. Uach entered a ballot and included a label from Unical Pasta. As a result, Mrs. Ewak, I guess that is, has won a Macasa 20-piece dinnerware set. Clock goes back to the point. Low shot. That's wide. And with it is Captain King. Puts it up the right side of Stapleton. Stapleton at center. His pass across. Doig, the 18-year-old, puts it into Ranger territory. It's sent back out. And with it now is Newman. He drives it back in. Now the puck along the boards and the Rangers on with it. McKenzie, McKenzie check. Lowell manages to dump it away. And going back for it again is Doig. Doig's pass goes to King. King's pass picked off. And it bounced out. Lafayette picked up by McKenzie. McKenzie drives it in. King after it deep in Ranger territory. Leaned into along the boards. Now it's left in the corner. Lowe goes after it. Stapleton puts it in behind the net. Stapleton again trying to dig it out. Does get it to King. King in behind the net. Centering effort is blocked. Now Lowe is checked by Stapleton. His centering pass broken up. Back in the corner. And with it now is Koser. Away for New York. To center. Dumps it in. And going back to get it is Wilkinson. Neil Wilkinson has got a shorthanded goal and the Jets opening again gets it out to center ice. Lidster sends it back. Now Wilkinson with it again. Finds some room on the right side. Dumps it in deep. And back with it is Alexi Kovalev. Seven minutes left in the second period. The Rangers three. The Jets one. Here's Kovalev. Right side it's it. Lisa Frigel in for Rome. The tie and the save by Chevrolet. Robitaille is talking to himself right now. Chevrolet does an excellent job staying with him, but what a pass by Kovalev to find Robitaille. It starts way back in the zone of two good passes, one by Samuelson, and look at this stretch pass. They've been doing it all game. And watch Chevrolet. He just stays right with Robitaille and closes up the five hole. But somehow Robitaille sneaks right behind the jet defense. And watch Chevrolet. He just stays right with him, holds up, waits him, a good save, and Robitaille must be talking to himself. He doesn't miss many when he's in like that. Got in behind Darrell Shannon and Neil Wilkinson. Hawk is down in the jet zone. Sent out along the boards. It's stopped by Lister. Fired back in. Chevrolet leaves it now for Manson. 6.40 left second period. 3-1 Rangers. Turka chips it out. Going back for to Samuelson with Doan on his heels. Sent around by Richter to Robitaille. Stopped at center ice by Quint. To Turcotte, he's checked. It's taken down by Ferraro, given to Kovalev. Spins to the outside, trying to escape Manson. Kovalev down to the corner, shakes off Manson, takes it behind the net. Kovalev still with it. 
Now Turk got after him. He spins away from him. Kovalev playing keep away. Now works in front. Puts it in deep centered. And it's picked up and cleared away by Quinn. Here's Lidster. His pass taken it across the line. They shot by Burrow. Reba, another shot. Another save. This one off the beat. Here's Doan over skates at center ice. And then it goes up and out of play. Shovel Day cast it over and over again in his, his seasonal debut. Well, Chevrolet is putting on a clinic right now. This score could certainly be a lot worse if it wasn't for him. Ray Ferrero cannot believe it. He had several excellent chances, and Chevrolet stopped them all. 30 shots on him so far. He stopped all but three. And he's not only stopping the first one, but he's stopping the second and the third as well. And that's when you know a goaltender is really, really on. Now the Rangers are just flying through the neutral zone and they seem to gain speed in the offensive zone, beating the Jets to the box and creating those chances and getting all those shots. Here's Newman. His pass goes all the way down the ice. Leach charges back for it. Richter has to go out and play it. Gets it ahead. And it's brought out to center ice by Messier. His pass on the side to Graves. Graves trying to work by Doig. Doig takes him into the corner. Messier fetches it behind the net. Takes it along the board. Leaves it there for Leach. Leach in front, they score! Perfectly executed pass. And Graves fired it home. It's 4-1. Oh, the Rangers are quick. Adam Graves has such a terrific release. The key to this whole play is the down low pay play by the Rangers. Messe, good puck control, little reverse to Leach, stick to stick, and look at the release. Graves does not even lift his stick, and Chevrolet has absolutely no chance. But a little reverse down low really misses up the defensive zone cover coverage of the Jets. And again, absolutely no backswing, a quick release on the stick off the stick. Graves, that's why he scored 50 goals one year plus, because of his great release and a good little turn back by Messier. Graves first from Leach and Messier. 4-1, the Rangers lead. All the scoring has taken place in this second period. Now Doig moves into the Rangers on the big guy, puts it across in front. And the Rangers, got it on to center ice. With it there is Stapleton. He puts it ahead. Samuelson puts it into Jeff territory. Stapleton ahead. Now the Jets are three on one. Here's King moves it. King in front. The pass went between the feet of McKenzie. And play has been called as Samuelson is down on the ice. There's going to be a penalty with 4.41 left to the second. I've got the willpower to quit smoking. It's just Nicorette helps give it a boost. You know you can quit smoking. Maybe all you need is a little help. Then why not ask your pharmacist for Nicorette nicotine chewing pieces? Or call for more information. By giving you some of the nicotine you got from smoking, Nicorette helps maximize your own willpower. A friend told me Nicorette didn't work for him, but uh, you know, I just don't think he was using it right, because it sure worked for me. With proper use, Nicorette helps keep a steady level of nicotine in your bloodstream, helping take away the cravings for a cigarette. Well, at first the taste surprised me, you know, for a gum. But it worked so well for me, I just got used to it. I always knew one day I'd quit for good. Nicorette helped me get over the hump. Yes, sir. Call now, and we'll send you what you need to use Nicorette correctly. Nicorette really helps with the cravings, and I can use it anywhere. If you've got the will, Nicorette could be the way. Just call. Or better yet, ask your pharmacist for Nicorette. 4.41 left in the second. We invite you to join us in the second intermission for Dirt Devil Trivia with Joe Pascucci and Kerry Wilson, as well as a CKND News update. Where they'll be talking about OJ. OJ decided he'd rather watch the jet game. <laughs> Maybe. Well, we've got a good one going. Well, the Rangers have certainly dominated this second period. As you mentioned, Kurt, their speed. The way, when they get going in that high tempo and they move the puck, they're tough to play against, and right now that's the way they've been playing. That's this particularly the second period. Good cycles down low, high tempo. Mark Messier and company have been really flying. So Samuelson is the man who drew that penalty. The Jets' long goal came in the power play. Get that opportunity again. Kovalev with, Korolev, pardon me, with Solani 
up front. And Doan, Zemnov is back with Newman. Now Korolev drives it into Ranger territory. Solani goes after it. Puts it in behind the net. Doan trying to work it. Solani helps him out. Gives it to Doan. Doan into the corner now for Korolev. Back to the point. Newman. Newman into Zemnov. Zemnov takes a look. Puts it down in deep. It goes to the other side. Korolev. Back to the point. He fed it before Newman and arrived. And Newman has to go back to get it. A minute 27 left in the penalty to the Rangers. 4-1 New York leads. Newman straight up the middle. Drives it into Ranger territory after it is Solani beaten to it. Now Shemnov comes up with it. Shemnov over to Newman. Back to Shemnov. Shemnov takes a long look. Now lets it go. St. Richter don't pokes it wide. Newman moves in. Puts it behind the net. Now Korolev gets it to Newman and behind the net to Doan. Doan into Solani, back, Jim on shot. Richter the save and a rising drive. And it's cleared all the way down the ice. 46 seconds left in that penalty. 3.26 left in the second period. The Rangers lead it 4-1. The Jets' power play works to center. The pass goes off the stick of Solani. All the way down the ice. It's down in behind the net and it's flipped up and out of play. Now get a 28-point winter inspection, oil, lube, and filter, tire rotation, and a 4-liter jug of washer fluid, all for just $24.99, only at Canadian Tire. Well, Colin Campbell, the head coach of the New York Rangers, must be a little more relaxed this second period as finally his team is starting to score goals. The Jets have been doing a very good job on their power play. They're feeding the points. They have good traffic in front. They've already got one goal that way. Here's the shot from the blue line, knocked down in front, backhand by Turcotte, goes wide. It's behind the net, Eastwood works it back to the point to Quint. Quint shot through traffic, knocked away by Richter. Now Darren Shannon with it for Winnipeg. Back to Manson, over to Quint, the shot, Richter's it. Rebound, loose puck, it's knocked behind the net. Messier with it now. Messier trying to get away, gets the pass out on the left side, and the Rangers start out. Linster. Gets up to the jet line, dropped it off, picked up neatly, taken away by Turcotte. He pokes it ahead for Eastwood. And play has been called on the offside, I believe. Well, I've been very impressed the way Quint has just shot the puck towards the goal. Sometimes the best shot does not have to be very hard from your point, man, if you have good traffic in front. And Quint, the native of New Hampshire, not too far down the road, and mom and dad are here this evening watching their son play and they must be very proud. That's got to be a thrill to them. And again, look at the traffic by the Jets in front. That just hits Turcotte's toe and goes wide. That shot was from Quint on the point. Not a hard shot, but good traffic in front of Mike Richter. This is the kind of traffic that is very difficult for a goaltender. Good job by Turcotte. So both sides at full strength now, 4-1. The Rangers lead late in the second period. Puck goes down into Jet territory and Wilkinson with it in the corner. Trying it up along the boards, too much traffic there. Kovalev then bumped into by Wilkinson. Buck pop free, picked up by McKenzie to King. King gets over the line, McKenzie breaks to the net. Here's the shot! Knocked away by Richter. And the Rangers start back. It's taken out to center ice. Here's Ferraro, gains the jet line, is checked. And it's brought back by Big McKenzie. He moves to center ice. Dumped it into Ranger territory, goes after it himself. Richter puts it to the corner. That's picked off by King. King in behind the net to Stapleton. Stapleton centers. Kovalev with it there. And the Rangers start away. It's taken by Samuelson. Back to Ferraro. Dumped it in. Chevalier with Robitaille moving in. One hands it along the boards. Now Robitaille after it again. Robitaille diligent works in front. Kicked away, gets it again. Another shot. Stapleton is there. Jets appear tired now on this ship. Leach gains the line again, and it's offside. Well, Leach has been dancing all game long, and as you mentioned, the Jets were caught a little bit tired on that last shift. It's a long way for them to change in this building, and a long way to come, so if you don't get good quick changes you can get yourself in trouble as the Jets were in that last shift 
the Rangers have really picked their tempo up a notch and they're playing low in the jet zone and the jet defensive zone coverage has not been as good as it should be and that's why the Rangers are up 4-1 in this period. Here's Dallas Drake, knocks it out to center ice, grabbed there by Leach. Leach puts it over to Messier. Dumped it into Jet territory. Chevalier puts it up along the boards. Graves battles for it with Newman, and now it's lumped away by Turcotte to center. He gets in across the line, taking it against the board, puck picked up by Drake. Drake centers, and Graves has it now. Graves pass ahead for Messier. Over and out of Leach with Burbeek. Leach dropped it to Burbeek. Burbeek trying to work by Newman. And one hands it at the net at the side of the goal. It's in behind. Graves to Leach. Leach working there against Doig. Doig trying to wrap up Leach. Down in the corner. The puck goes free now to Graves. Graves to Burbeek who put it wide. Messier knocks down Turcott. Leach puts it back to the ball. Here's a shot. Chevrolet they say rebound. Newman goes after it. Penalty coming in. Penalty coming up, and I believe it's to the Rangers with 21 seconds left in the period. And I think it's going to be Mark Messier who was tussling with Turcotte in front of the goal. And this is a good opportunity for the Jets here to maybe get back in this game, although they only have 21 seconds left in the second period, but their power play has been very strong. Messier and Turkov, they started it off here, and I believe as the play progressed in front of the net, Messier gave him an extra shot, and Bukaboom has been known to throw his body around, and a good hit on him by Turcotte, and maybe a little extra trip so that Turcotte could not get by him. And will that be the crunch of the game? Could be, and for not somebody, crunch of the game. Eastwood is out there with Drake and Doan. Interesting, Shamnov and Solani haven't really played that much in the second period and don't start this power play. Could be message time again. Now the puck along the board. Puck goes into the corner. Now it's centered. It's picked up by Doan. In behind the net. Doan throws it in front. They shot back down. Puck goes to the corner. And then runs out the second period. Well, Tim Chevrolet was again very busy during this second period as the New York Rangers picked up their tempo and turned it up a notch and the Jets had trouble the with their speed down low. Four, the so this could be a lot worse, sorry, Kurt, if it wasn't for Tim Chevrolet. Yeah, it's 4-1 for the Rangers and uh, Kerry Wilson is standing by with Joe Pascucci once again. The score after two is the Rangers four and the Jets one. This used to be rock and roll. Time changed. This is new rock. Today's best rock. 92 City of them. It's about music. 92 City FM. Come to my and Tom and Joe in the morning. The radio station for the next 25 years. Today's best rock. 92 City FM. Play Safeway, score and win. When the Jets score on CKND, you could win a set of quality appliances from T-Fell. A 20-piece set of Macassa Fine China in the Currents pattern. A Gold Star Start Touch 2 VCR or a Texas Instruments personal organizer. You could also win a trip for two to Mazatlan, Mexico, courtesy of Canadian Holidays, Canada's largest vacation company. Safeway's participating products, McCain drinking boxes, and Chef Boyardee canned pastas. Score and win at Safeway, today's better way. No amount of insurance can make up for the personal violation of a break-in. Take precautions. Leave lights on while you're out. Leave a radio on. Install an alarm system. Use your common sense. Boxes of new electronic equipment left in clear sight are an open invitation to theft. Insurance policies vary, so ask someone who knows. Your premier broker understands. Insurance Tips is brought to you by the Premier Insurance Group. Group advantages with independent service.
days roll the beers, and all seems but head dries in a world all its own. A disastrous second period for the Winnipeg Jets as the New York Rangers finally hit the sheet and they hit it four times. The Jets only responded once and the Rangers now with a comfortable three-goal lead. And our next telecast on CKND comes your way Wednesday, October 25th. After you vote in the civic election, come back and watch the Jets take on the San Jose Sharks. And Kerry Wilson, Tim Shovely, another outstanding period, but he can't stop everything. Well, he can. He did. Uh, he did all he possibly could, and I think this period, uh, even he was he was stopping not only the first but the second and third shots, and uh, and it just wasn't enough. It was only a matter of time before uh, the Rangers put a few past him, and and the Rangers did uh, turn it up a couple of gears, and I think Winnipeg had a tough time keeping up. Jets have yet to score the uh, opening goal of any game so far this season. They fell behind two nothing, but then showed some life on the power play, which has been rather effective this evening. Dallas Drake scoring to make it a 2-1 game. Well, I think Winnipeg's concentrating a little more on getting some shots and then, and then chasing the rebound. Here they get it back to the point. They pass it across, and, uh, and we just, we, they get a shot away very quickly. Newman and the rebound. Dallas Drake is right there, turns his body position, takes his time a little bit, and gets it right upstairs. But the worst thing that can happen happened to the Jets. The Rangers came back and scored right away. Yep, the momentum was right on the fence at that point, but uh, as you said, the Rangers came back right away, and this uh, took, will take a lot of life out of the Jets here. A good shot off the backboards, and uh, Kovalev is right there to pick up the rebound. Right there, a lot of the momentum shifted. You could, you could almost feel that happening as you know, the Dallas Drake had a good goal, and the, the Jets got a little bit of life, but uh, momentarily that was just taken away by Kovalev's goal. 32 seconds after the Drake goal, and then, of course, another goal by Adam Graves made it a 4-1 game for the New York Rangers. Well, third period coming your way, but before we get to that, coming up next on CKND, we'll have a news update with Barry Burns. Also, some Dirt Devil trivia. Look back at the Oilers' kid line from that last Stanley Cup championship. The Jets trailing the New York Rangers by three. Your Molson Jets telecast continues on CKND Winnipeg TV after this. Welcome to the Club Z 10th Anniversary Report. With over 9 million members, there's a lot to celebrate. I got it free! That's what millions of hard-working Canadians said and are still saying. So far, Sellers has given away over 6 million free Club Z rewards. And this year, the rewards catalog is better than ever. The Club Z 10th Anniversary, only at Sellers because... You work hard for your money and we're gonna give you more. Free. We'll never appreciate the taste of a warm beer. And we'll never enjoy being chased by angry bulls down narrow streets. We'd never smash our dishes after an enjoyable dinner. And we'll probably never excel at yodeling. Then again, Europeans may never know the thrill of driving one of these. The Eagle Vision TSI. Drive on the right side of the road. There once was a woman who lived in a shoe. When she needed more room, she knew what to do. She found an affordable home with room to spare in the Winnipeg Real Estate News. Winnipeg's first choice for buying and selling. Do yourself a favor, pick up the Real Estate News. This is it. Furniture Galleria closes forever Sunday at 6 p.m. We're closed now, but on Thursday, we'll open for our absolute final four days of once-in-a-lifetime savings. If you've been waiting, don't you dare wait anymore. It all starts Thursday. This CKND News Update is for AM 1290. Talk radio with attitude. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kristen Firth. Winnipeg's garment industry is being threatened by the lack of skilled workers. We'll tell you what's keeping them from coming to our city and who's looking for some solutions. A local dispute between a Winnipeg landlord and renters is turning ugly. We'll tell you why and how the problem's being resolved. Solutions to Winnipeg's ailing emergency departments were on the agenda today. They're asking how hospitals can function without ER wards. And this is no fish story. Local fishermen proved that today when they carted 2,500 pounds of whitefish to the legislature. 
They're up in arms over quotas. And finally, ever wish you'd tried out a career before you spent years working to get it? We'll tell you how a local program is working to give students that opportunity. Barry will have the details on these and other stories tonight following the hockey game. Hi, I'm Gerald Wilcox. As you may know, I play a little football here in Manitoba. I've realized to be the best at what you do, to be a true professional and winner, requires a lot of hard work and dedication. And a real competitive attitude sure doesn't hurt. You know who's got it, don't you? The difference is, you got it, the people at Park Pontiac. What do women want for men? A lasting relationship? I've got a copy of her key. Yeah. Me too. We are professionals. Or a career. Although I still love the sound of you unzipping. Only Caroline knows. Thursday at 8.30 on CKND Winnipeg TV. I agreed to pose as a wife, not as a mindless, pathetic sex slave. Well, you picked a fine time to tell me that. She had no idea. Hello, my little sticky muffin. What she was getting into. Well, he's weird. Monday at 8.30 on CKND Winnipeg TV. Red Hot Trivia, brought to you by Dirt Devil, makers of the MVP vacuum. Nothing escapes the power of the Dirt Devil. Which three players made up the kid line that helped the Oilers win the 1990 Stanley Cup? We'll have the answer right after this. Do your little ones sometimes get a little out of control? Maybe you could use a little help from Dirt Devil. Introducing the Dust Devil Cordless Vac. It's perfect for quick pickups of everyday messes on hard surfaces. Its triangular nose is great for corners and that webby stuff. The Dust Devil Cordless Vac. Cute little devil, isn't it? Which three players made up the kid line that helped the orders to the 1990 Stanley Cup? Need a hint? All three players now play for other teams in the NHL. The Oilers were led by veterans such as Mark Messier and con fight winner Bill Ranford. But it was a line made up of youngsters that also provided a big spark. The first player was acquired by the Oilers in one of the biggest trades in hockey history. In 1990, Martin Jelenov proved to Edmonton fans that he was more than just a footnote in the trade that sent Wayne Gretzky to L.A. The other two players came to the Oilers in 1989-90 as part of a seven-player deal with Detroit. For Adam Graves and Joe Murphy, the change of scenery gave them the opportunity to develop, and they responded in the playoffs with some big goals. Here come the Oilers. Long shot scores! Graves gets the shot away, and that's the first shot of the game on the Boston net, and Graves scores. For the three kids, winning the Stanley Cup was a dream come true. Martin Jelena, Adam Graves, and Joe Murphy, the members of the 1990 kid line for the Edmonton Oilers. Another Red Hot Trivia, brought to you by Dirt Devil. Makers of the MVP vacuum, nothing escapes the power of a Dirt Devil. Promotional consideration provided by Optex Binoculars. Superior quality, deluxe features, excellent value, all backed by an industry-leading no-fault warranty. See your retailer today. And time now for the MTS NHL out-of-town update for the games taking place in the National Hockey League. This evening, to tell you what's happening in Hartford, the Whalers holding on to a 3-2 lead over the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. Paul Korea with both those goals for the Ducks. They're in the third period. Washington and Philadelphia, they're still scoreless in the second. In Florida, the Montreal Canadiens having a tough time with the Panthers. It's now 5-1. to one. A couple of ex-Jets there, Brent Severin and Stu Barnes scoring for the Panthers. And a little later on, it's Boston against the Colorado Avalanche. 
It'll be their fourth game of the season. Our score, the Rangers leading the Jets by 4-1. to one. You're up to date on the NHL tonight through MTF. Coming up next, third period action. This is your Molson Canadian Helicopter. Hey guys, take it again. I'm always pushing myself. I don't give up. I stick with it, no matter how long it takes. Okay, wait, hold it, hold it. For hold, people hold. who won't quit, Extra's the gum with the fresh taste that won't quit. It's these two right here. All right, all right, let's take them from Solo. It's all a matter of time and patience. Only Extra has our special time-release formula, so it keeps on tasting fresh. As long as I want it to. Sugar-free Extra. It's fresh taste that never quits. The 1996s are coming. All 1995s have got to go. At McNaught Motors, we're clearing out our remaining 95s in GM's Canada-wide clearance. Ask about our lowest lease payments all year with zero down OAC. Pontiac Grand Am and Grand Prix, Regal Custom, Transport Vans, and GMC 4x4 extended cab trucks. McNaught Motors is making it easy to own the brand new 95 GM vehicle you've been waiting for. Wait no more. Get a new lease on life at McNaught Motors, 634 Portage Avenue. Molson Jets Hockey on CKND is brought to you in part by Rhymer Express, Park Pontiac Buick GMC, and by Athletes Wear. Score and win has returned. Tonight we officially launch the Safeway Score and Win season, during which we will award a valuable brand name prize for every goal scored by the Winnipeg Jets on CKND Telecast. Prizes include an IBM Aptiva multimedia computer, $300 in MasterCard Traveler's Check from the Bank of Montreal, a set of quality appliances from TFAL, the new Dirt Devil MVP Upright and Dust Devil Vacuum from Royal Appliance, a GE Space Maker 2 microwave oven with sensor cooking control, a Gold Star Star Touch 2 VCR, including a multi-brand remote for TV and VCR. A 20-piece service for four of Macassa's fine china in the current pattern. Or a Texas Instruments 128K personal organizer. There will also be an instant trip for two awarded for each hat trick completed by a Jets player on CKND. In addition to trips to Mazatlan, Mexico, will be awarding at the conclusion of each telecast. All trips, courtesy of Canadian Holidays, Canada's largest vacation company. So hurry into your local Safeway, fill in the ballot, attach a proof of purchase, and you could be our next lucky winner right here on CKND. Score and win at Safeway, today's better way. Five goals in a hockey game all in the second period. In each case, his first goal of the season, Ferraro from Robitaille, 21 seconds in. Blitzer from Kovalev, seven minutes in. The Jets get on the scoreboard on the power play. Drake from Newman and Jamov, but then only 32 seconds later, the Rangers made it 3-1. Kovalev from Robitaille, and at 14-19, it was Graves from Leach and Messier. In the second period, the Rangers outshot the Jets 16-8. The Rangers have outshot the Jets 32-17. Mark Messier will open the third period in the penalty box. He was given a high-sticking penalty at 19:38 of the second period. Well, if the Jets have any chance at all this hockey game, they have to make something happen early here on their power play. If they can get an early power play goal, they have a minute 38 seconds to work with. Then that'll change the look of this hockey game, and they'll be back in it. Jets are one for four with a man advantage. The Rangers are 0 for three. And one of the bright spots for the Winnipeg Jets this evening has been their power play. They've moved it around very well. They've used their points effectively, and they've had lots of traffic in front of Mike Richter. Saw the Jets send out Turcott, Stapleton, and Shannon as the first unit on the power play. Manson is back with Quint. Buck goes back to Manson at his own line. He gives it to Quint. Quint slides it behind the net to Shovel Day, who gives to Manson, who bobbles it. Buck goes into the corner. Now the Rangers working with it is Sundstrom. And the Jets pick it up again. It's taken in across the line. Moving in, here's the centering effort. Buck goes to the corner. After it there is Turcotte. Turcotte goes down, 
Puck is left on the boards, and it's picked up for the Rangers. Presley gets it to the blue line, kept in by Darren Shannon. He moves it in, he's going in front, and that pass was picked off, sent back toward the blue line, kept in by Quinn. Quinn shot a bouncer, knocked down in front, here's Manson. Manson's pass, that goes off Eastwood into the corner. Eastwood back to the point, Quinn to Manson, a shot that was blocked. And it's cleared down the ice by Sundstrom. Back with it is Quinn. Quinn moves it up toward the blue line. Now trying it on the left side. Doan beaten to it. Buck is left. Now Shevnov puts it into the zone. Sent back up by the Ranger. 30 seconds left in a penalty. Newman and in behind his goal. 4-1. The Rangers lead early in the third. Tempo Newman it. Straight up. Gets to center, dumps it in. Solani gets chased down deep. Solani takes it behind, puts it back to the point. Newman it. Newman it shot. That went wide with Doan standing to the side. Here's Solani to Doan to the corner. Korolev. Korolev looks back. Newman it. Over now. Shemdov. Solani. Solani to Shemdov. Over top of the goal. Newman it moves in. Mock is sent out to center with it. Shemdov. The penalty to Messier is over. Newman it. Is checked by Nemchina. Puck rolls in deep. Chamnot goes back. Chamnot at the side of his own goal. Nemchina kicks it free to Messier. Messier's pass picked off Solani. He's checked by Graves. Graves puts it into the jet zone. And with it there is Chevalier. Leaves it there for Newman. Newman's pass goes all the way down. And the Rangers clear it away again. Wilkinson dumps it in. Going back to get it for New York is Bukabu. Puts it in the corner. King wraps up his man for peak. Now the puck is grabbed by Drake, who takes it behind the goal. Drake trying to muscle it in front. Tied up by Bukabu. Slides it behind the leech. He gets it to Messier. Pass goes all the way out to center ice. When it's turned around by Stapleton. Stapleton's pass picked up by Leach. Trying to break through. Leach goes in and Chevel they knocked it away. Puck goes all the way down the ice. Back to get it is Verbeek. Verbeek works up the middle. He's cut off in the neutral zone momentarily by Mills. Then follows up. Gets the pass to Ferraro. He drives it off to nobody. Mills dives. Gives it to King. King's pass to Wilkinson. On the right side to Manson. A riser over top. Puck goes into the corner. Eastwood spins. Eastwood trying to work out with it. Eastwood does, gets a shot, they score! Good work by Mike Eastwood. And it's a 4-2 hockey game. Well, excellent grit by the Winnipeg Jet four checkers, and they win the battle on the boards right here. You'll see Eastwood, he's fighting, fighting. And this is how you win hockey games. You protect the puck and stay with it. And he just walks out and throws it towards the goal and catches Richter, who's a little bit flat on the play. He's not turned towards the shooter, and Eastwood comes out on his offside, which gives him a little better angle to shoot from. He's on his offside and just finds the sort of goes right between Richter's legs. But an excellent hard work goal by Eastwood coming out of the corner. So it's four to two. Derek Shannon and Dave Manson draw the assist on the goal by Eastwood. Puck is sent all the way back into the jet zone. And with it is Manson. Manson's pass goes to Doan off his stick back into the Rangers zone. Going forward is Bukabu. Puts it on the left side. Stopped in the center ice area. Jamnoff comes up with it. Dropped it off. Korolev is checked. Following up is Quint. Quint goes to the outside. Drives it in. And going back forward is Leach. Four minutes gone of the third period. The Rangers four, the Jets two. Brian Leach. Right at four, Nemchina, who moves to center ice, gets in across the jet line, takes it down in deep, puts it out in front, loved by Chevalier, and he holds on. Four two, the Rangers lead. Four ten gone in the third. Day after day, you see the same thing. Car and truck buyers driving all over Manitoba looking for great deals only to end up at the home of the big buy, Jim Gochin. And then they ask, how do you always have the best price? And how can you sell your cars and trucks for so much less than everybody else? Well, the answer is easy. Volume! If you don't come see the big guy today, he can't save you any money. 
Dominic Phillips, North of Inkster. From the creator of T2 and Aliens, Strange Days, one of the best films of the year, says Roger Ebert. Straight from the cerebral cortex. They're there. You're feeling it. A sexy, kinetic thriller. It's a setup. And Rolling Stone calls it a visionary triumph. You know how high up the food chain this thing goes. The action thriller of the year. Go! Strange Days, directed by Catherine Bigelow. Friday at theaters everywhere. Mike Eastwood goal means the Jets score, and Alvin Yaroszewski is our next lucky winner in a Safeway score on win contest by including a Robin Hood flower, proof of purchase, and entering in Safeway. Alvin, you put a gold star, star touch to VCR. Four to two. The Rangers lead the Jets. Here's Salani on the move. The center ice gives it to Turcotte. He gains the line, lets it go. Turcotte gets his own rebound on the body. Now it goes down. Here's Solani shot. Solani again in front. And he fired it wide. Solani picks it up on the boards. Now puts a Turcotte shot. That was blocked. Samuelson gets it around to Graves. Graves can't get it out. Turcotte knocked it back into the corner. Solani goes there with Lidster. Now moving in is Drake. Kicks it to the corner. And Graves comes up with it. And dumps it all the way down the ice. Strongest shift of the game for Timo Solani. Here's Newman in behind his goal. Gets it on the right side to Turcotte. Turcotte moves to the middle, dumps it in. Going back to get it is Bukabul. Run into by McKenzie. Verbeek gets it to Leach. He moves to center ice. Gets it across the line. Leach tried to penetrate, and it knocked away. Ferraro in the corner. It's sent back along the boards. Penalty coming to the Jets. Here's Bukabul. Puts it in deep. Stapleton touches, and play is whistled down. This is exactly what the Jets did not need. Is McKenzie's going to get a penalty. The Jets were coming on a little bit. Timo Solani had probably his best shift of the game. But now this momentum will all change back to the Rangers with McKenzie getting the penalty. So the Rangers get the man advantage. Stay tuned following tonight's game for the Jim Gauthier Big Easy play of the game. Brought to you by the home of the Big Five, Jim Gauthier, Chevrolet Geo Cadillac. Well, the Jets have done a nice job killing penalties this, e this evening. One of the reasons they've been so successful is they've paid extra special attention to Leach on the point. Their forwards have been very high on the point net of the Rangers. Jets win the draw. It's taken by Manson behind his goal. And he flips it high and all the way down the ice. Plus, they've been winning a lot of face-offs, and that's so important when you're killing penalties. Now, Darren Shannon works with it along the boards. Shannon looks out to Newman, and in from back, and Rick the same. Now it's taken behind the goal by Ferraro. Rangers have been cut back a couple of times since the Jets closed the gap to 4-2. Now the puck is dumped into Jet territory. Cleared, but not out. Now it goes to Samuelson. He shot. He scores. <laughs> Just when it looked like the Jets may be turning things around, the Rangers put on a trencher. Well, I think Ferrero may have touched this puck in front of the net. The leech starts it off once again. And look at his breakaway speed right here as he takes the puck and he will dump it in away from the goaltender. Which is the right thing to do and the Rangers gain possession on a bad clearing attempt by Shannon. Now watch Ferrero, 21, he's going to go right in front. Leach just directs the puck to the net and yes, he redirects this puck right between the legs of Tim Chevrolet right there. And once again, that wasn't a hard shot by Leach from the point, but it was on the net. And it was soft enough that it gave Ferrero an opportunity to, top, to tip the puck. Second of the game for Ferrero. Now the puck is in the jet zone. They shot shoveled in the same. Samuelson moves in. Puts it into the corner. It's along the boards. Now it's hit back toward the blue line. Here's Lindstrom's shot. It's caught and held by Shoveldey. Five to two. The Rangers lead. Ferrero is so good at tipping pucks. Ovalev gets the puck back to lead to Samuelson rather. Samuelson just directs it towards the puck, the net, and Ferrero just tips it a little bit. 
And there's a good look at it right here in super slow-mo. And he just knocks it right down Ferraro in front, right between Tim Chevrolet's legs. Power play goal for the Rangers. He has to go from here to New Jersey to take on the Stanley Cup champs tomorrow night. Off the draw, the puck goes in behind the net. Messier goes into the corner, gives it to Graves. Graves lost it, now Drake starts out. He gives to Solani. Solani on the move, gets in across the line, dropped it offside to Dallas Drake. And this is a very important 13 minutes and 24 seconds for the Winnipeg Jets. Yes, they're down 5-2, but as you mentioned, Kurt, they have a very big game again tomorrow night in New Jersey. They don't want this game to get out of reach. They want to continue to play and work on their good habits, work on their defensive game a little bit to get ready for tomorrow night. After that, the Jets go home for three in a row, beginning Sunday, and the Red Wings will be there, and then Tuesday, Tampa Bay, and Thursday, San Jose. Back in the neutral zone, Drake dumps it into Ranger Teletone. Back forward is Leach. 6.45, gone in the third, 5-2, to two, New York leads. Trying to dig it out of the corner is Drake. Drake knocks it to the side, Buka Boom is there, trying to clear. Darryl Shannon is hit, now Messier pulls quickly up the right side, gains the line, falls, dropped it off, he's for big shot, and Chevrolet the save. Now it's one end into the blue line, kept in by Messier. Messier to Graves. Graves fending off a check from Drake. Graves still has it, goes behind the net. Now Messier drives it in front and couldn't bomb it home. It's sent back to the point. Here's Buka Boom shot. Messier centers, and Solani grabs a loose puck, moves into center ice, trying to go through a couple of people. He does. Solani moves in, and Verbeek got hold of him. Now there's going to be a penalty to Ben Verbeek, I presume, for slashing. Seven and a half into the third. Wake up to sunshine. It's a brand new day. Wake up to breakfast. The A and W way. Wake up to something tasty and new. A great AA, specially seasoned country style sausage, all on a toasted bun. It's our tasty new sausage and egger, but it's only here for a limited time. Wake up to sunshine, it's a brand new day. Wake up to breakfast, the A and W way. A and W's new sausage and egger. <laughs> What makes people crave the wave? The bigger, bolder taste of Ocean Spray Cranberry Cocktails? It's the unique way we blend the juice of cranberries and other wholesome ingredients with the concentrated juices of plump raspberries, perfectly ripened apples, and sweet strawberries, too. It's a richer, more delicious taste that's only Ocean Spray. The others just don't compare to the taste people crave. Crave the wave. the big line and he is now playing with Turcott and it seems as he's picked up his game a little bit this third period as he draws the penalty here as Pat Verveek trips up Solani who was in on Mike Richter. So the Jets are the man advantage and out comes Carl Ab with Doan and Solani up front. Quint is back with Shamnov. Puck goes into the corner. Samuelson slams it off the boards and all the way down the ice. Five to two the Rangers lead. Almost eight minutes into the third. Jets two for two coming into this one. The Rangers had lost their only previous game. This is their home opener. Here's Carl F. Slides it back to Shemnov. Shemnov finds his way to the middle. Dumps it all the way down. Samuelson slams it off the glass. Knocked down by Quinn. Taken away. By Sundstrom. He gets the pass over. And now the loose puck is ground by Doan. Knocked in behind his net. Quinn goes after it there. Quinn starts out. A minute 18 left in the penalty as Doan gains the Ranger line. Doan dropped it off to Coralab, back to Quint. Quint's pass goes over to Shandoff. Shandoff hit deep, Coralab couldn't handle the pass. Now Coralab behind the net, to the other side, Solani. Solani back now to Doan behind the net. Doan along the board, Solani. Solani to the point, Shandoff shot, rebound in front. They battle it, it's picked up now by Coralab. Behind the net for Doan. Don't fighting off Bokeboom, puts it to the corner, Solani. Solani in beside the Don't slides it in front, sent back to the blue line. Shemnoff works to the circle, lets it go, Richter, save 
and he holds on with King Doan, who was 19 years old yesterday, standing there looking for a loose puck. Well, jammed off the course, as we all know, is so crafty, and he just directs it towards the net. Now, Doan is in good position in front, but Richter does an excellent job of covering up the rebound, and Bukaboom clears the crease. But watch Richter, he'll peek to look for position by Doan. There you can see his head peeking by Doan, and then he is able to gobble up the rebound. 36 seconds left in that penalty to Pat Verbeek, 5-2, to two, the Rangers lead. Nine minutes into the third period, off the draw. It goes in behind the net, Samuelson sends it around on the glass. Kept in by Manson, moves in front, Manson lets it go! And that's kicked away by Richter. Here's Eastwood. Eastwood behind the net, puck goes to the other side, Graves goes after it. Graves trying to clear, Newman and Stumbles maintains possession. Now Lidster gets it outside, and with it is Manson. Ten seconds in the penalty. Turcott, Hindy, here's Shannon, he brought Eastwood, and he hand on a shot. Darren Shannon, driving foot, the shot by Turcott. Richter, the save. Penalty is over. Turcott, he brought big save, Richter. Another save. Good pressure by the Jets, and Richter puts on his best display of the night. Hunt goes all the way down. Newman and is there and play has been whistled four big saves by Richter and it came in pair well folks you want to see a save Mike Richter just made an absolutely outstanding save stick to stick for first time around and Eastwood fans on this one but watch Turcott as he's continue here. He's going to be to the side of the goal, and he's going to make some kind of save as he gets somehow across the crease right now and gets his pad, and Eastwood just can't believe it. But he must read this play. It just drags that right toe and then even stops the rebound. And, folks, that is one heck of a save. Look at the agility by Mike Richter to get his right pad on the puck. Here's a shot wide of the Ranger goal off the backboard. Another shot goes through the crease. Now King goes after it. King puts it in deep. Drake run into by Blum the Blum. Tied up along the board. Drake trying to kick it free. Knocks it to the corner. It's hit back. Wilkinson holds it in for King. Now Leach gets it ahead. It's taken by Kovalev. His pass intercepted. Wilkinson, 9.37 left. 5-2, the Rangers lead in the third. And play as we whistle down. Well, if it wasn't for Mike Richter, this would be a 5-3 hockey game as he robbed the Jets. The Jets had five shots on that power play. All evening long, the one strong point, the one bright light for the Winnipeg Jets has been their power play. It has been excellent. And I don't know how Richter got that pad over on on Eastwood. Maybe he knew Turcotte was going to pass that puck. Of course, they played together here in New York. Turcotte was here for parts of six seasons. So that's the kind of goal, goal Jenny, that earned a Richter a Stanley Cup ring a couple of years ago. Laysoff comes outside the jet line. It goes back to Lidster. Lidster all kinds of time. Now drives it in. It goes along the boards. Here's a shot by Kovalev, knocked down, Robitaille picked up the rebound and put it wide. Here's Robitaille in behind the net. Now it's taken in front, Robitaille gets it again, knocked it behind the goal. Daryl Shannon can't get it out, now did manage to flip it ahead, and Drake takes it away. He moves to center. Drake gains the line, stops, puts it on in front, here's Shannon, he scores! Daryl Shannon into the slot all kinds of time and the Rangers are all upset. Well, Richter is livid. He feels he was knocked and interfered with as that puck went off and Colin Campbell is not too pleased at the amount of time that Shannon had in front. This was a man advantage break. Watch the Rangers back in. Everybody's backing in on top of Richter. Does he get nudged? He may have got nudged by King and that's why Richter is so upset but a very good shot. Watch the range of defense. Look at them back in here. Everybody backs away from Shannon. He has all kinds of time and a good hard snapshot right between the legs. Now they got nudged by King. That's about all. I think he just kind of breezed by him. Let's have a look if we can see it from this angle. He just got enough of Richter to throw him off a little bit. That was a good play by King. 
because he got away with it. 5-3, the Rangers lead puck in the Jets on in beside the net, comes back out in front. Back to the point, Bukaboom. Puts it down to the corner, in behind the net now, then Chinov trying to center. He goes behind the net, Chamnov trying to clear. Korolev goes after it with Bukaboom, and the puck is out at center ice. Now Manson has it at his line. Manson flips it to Korolev. His pass taken neatly by Chamnov. Chamnov in front, goes shot. And Richter the save. Puck in the corner. It's kicked loose. Korolev trying to feed the point. The pile up in the corner. Now Doan takes it behind the Ranger net. Doan to the other side. Puts it back to Korolev. Korolev works with it. He's Korolev. Wrap around. And it went wide. His quick shot. And it's blocked. And now the Rangers in Gina. Comes up the left side. Puts it to the jet line. And Manson has it. Manson's pass. Goes to Korolev. To Quint. Gains the line to Shamdov. He centers. Pass intercepted, and Lister starts back. And there's a bad penalty against the Winnipeg Jets at center ice. We'll be back in a moment. Play Safeway's score and win when the Jets score on CKND. You could win an IBM Aptiva multimedia computer, a GE Spacemaker 2 microwave oven, Dirt Devil's MVP and Dust Devil from Royal Appliance, or $300 in MasterCard Traveler's checks from the Bank of Montreal. You could also win a trip or two to Mazatlan, Mexico, courtesy of Canadian Holidays, Canada's largest vacation company. Safeway's participating products, Unico Pasta, and Safeway Select Indulgence Cheesecakes. Score and win at Safeway. Today's better way. by Daryl Shannon, our next lucky winner in the Score and Win contest is Mr. Fredrickson of Winnipeg. Mr. Fredrickson entered Score and Win at St. Way along with a proof of purchase from Kleenex. Congratulations, you've won an IBM Aptiva, Aptiva Multimedia Computer. Penalties to both sides. Yes, we're going to have some four on four. It's always entertaining to watch, particularly with the skill level out on the ice at the moment. Now the puck is dumped into the jet corner with it there is Manson. Seven and a half minutes left in the third period. The Rangers lead the Jets five to three as Manson. Comes up the left side, moves to center ice, drives it in. Samuelson trying to bat it out. Run into by Drake. Puck goes free to Messier. Messier against Manson works along the line. Messier goes to the outside. Band on a shot. And Manson looks ahead. Pass for Drake went by him. And Samuelson went off break and nearly wound up in the jet bench. Now the puck is dug out of the corner by Turcotte. And then Turcotte lost possession. But there is going to be a penalty, I believe. But on the Molson, three stars on our postgame show as Dick Samuelson goes to familiar terrain, the penalty box. Well, he really got the worst of this play. He received a penalty for interference and as well ran right into the boards and hurt himself. Well, the Jets are still in this hockey game and the way their power play has been going tonight, 5-3 game, they get one here and we've got a heck of a finish for them, ready. That's strange that you know, on the second period it uh, often was the case that the Rangers were beating the Jets to all the loose bucks in their, their own zone, but here in the third it's the reversal. Well, you could see there Fossette talking to Richter, explaining to him what he saw when King bumped him in that last goal. And that's what they were chatting about, and he felt that probably, I know what he says, because referees say it every time to goaltenders, hey, he was pushed in. That's their favorite line. I heard it a million times. So, a four-on-three man advantage for Winnipeg. Turcott and Solani, Newman and Jamnoff. Jamnoff has it now, gives it to Newman. Newman and back to Jamnoff. Jamnoff looks in deep, drops it to Newman. Newman takes his time, now over to Solani at the dot. Solani holds on, back to Newman. Newman back to Solani. 
Delaney looks across, tried to feed it across for Zendoff. It was not going to, but it is Kirk Buck goes to center. Yet still needs someone in front of the net, even though it's a four on three situation. Here's Solani, works it down deep into the corner. Solani looks back at Newman, gives him the puck. Newman moves along the line, gives it to Shemdoff. Kirk on his in front of the net, the pass to Lanny, shot! Richter the save and he holds on. Well, we all know that is Solani's favorite position. He's on his offside. He can really crank it from that angle, but Mike Richter knows that as well. He may have been cheating a little bit to Solani. Here's his position A. He loves to be here right off the board. The Jets work it around well, and you'll see Solani to the right of your screen. Oh, that was a shot of Graves doing a nice job killing penalties. What you want to do if you're a penalty killer is get your stick in the passing lane. And that's what Graves did on that play. See how his stick is in the passing lane, and that prevents Newman to finding Solani. This time he finds him, and that's his favorite spot. And you can see Richter, how quickly he is over on that play, reading Solani's shot. Graves did a nice job in that last sequence and putting his stick in the passing lane to keep the Jets to the outside of the box. Jets call the timeout to discuss a little strategy, and that gives us an opportunity to remind you to stay with us on the post-game show for the crunch of the game, brought to you by Vernas Auto Body, 160 Higgins Avenue in Winnipeg. A minute 13 left in the man advantage for Winnipeg. And 35 seconds from now, the four on three will become a five on four. That's when Jamnov and uh, that's when the two players in the penalty box that went in together will come out. Now the puck in the side of the net, Leach knocks it out to center ice. And going back to get it is Newman. Newman is out with Turcotte, Jamnov, and Solani. Turcotte moves it on the left side to Solani. Solani works in deep. Looks to the other side to Turcotte. Turcotte back to the blue line, Chandoff. To Turcotte, to Chandoff. Oh, do it in time! Richter saves. Solani, back for Newman. In behind the net. It's picked up. Now Turcotte with it. Turcotte, in front. Richter knocked it away from Solani. Now Coral Evans with big step out of the penalty box. Here's Solani. In front, Turcotte could get a shot away. And the Rangers dump it all the way down. 27 seconds left in the man advantage for Winnipeg. Newman into Solani. 5-3, the Rangers lead. 5-20 left in the third period. Puck behind the Ranger goal. And it's picked up and cleared all the way down the ice. Doubleday leaves it there for Quint. Quint watched by Presley. Now gets the pass on the left side. Manson locks it to center. Puts it on the right side to Darren Shannon. Shannon looks across. The pass goes to Eastwood, back to the point, not free, and it's taken out to center ice. With it now, Samuelson gets it off. Lead front for deep shot, loose puck, and the Jets knock it away as the penalty is over. Here's Lister. Ahead to Verbeek. He knocks it in. Back forward is Manson. 4.37 left in the third. Rangers lead by two. Kovalev. Dropped it to Leach. His pass intercepted. Here's King. Works it across the heel. He scored! Chris King. Let that one go. And it's a 5-4 hockey game. Well, I mentioned earlier in the show that Chris King was shooting the puck a lot more so far this season. And he's being rewarded for it. This starts way down in the Rangers zone. The Rangers get a little bit too fancy, and Chris King intercepts his pass. He goes coast to coast. And boy, does he get all this shot, and Richter's down a little bit early, and that goes right over his shoulder. And the Winnipeg Jets have just dominated this third period, as you can see again, right over the shoulder. And the shots so far in this third period are 16 to 5 in favor of the Winnipeg Jets. And once again, if you shoot the puck, you will get rewarded for it, and Chris King gets all of this puck. Richter's down a little bit early, and his glove's a little bit low, and it goes right over his glove and into the top corner. And you have to admire the way these Jets have battled back this third period. 15-36, King unassisted. Here's Samuelson, sends it out to center ice to Gray. 
Graves gets the pass now to Verbeek, who gains the line. Verbeek trying to drag it in front, and the Jets start back. With it now is Stapleton, dropped it to King, against Samuels, and King dropped it off, and Messier is there. He knocks it to center, and now King, at his own line, lifts it high in the air. Samuelson goes back, going after him, 5-4, the Rangers lead, just under four minutes left. Graves dumps it in. Verbeek goes after it. Verbeek against Quint is knocked in behind the net. Now Messier centers. Here's the shot by Verbeek. And it's picked off by Quint. Quint looks for Rome, slides it up the left side to Coralev. Coralev gets over the line. Coralev pokes into the corner. Graves after it with Jandon. Solani digs it up. Solani running to by Mukabo. Now it's picked up by Jandon. Centering pass, knocked away by Graves. And Graves flips it high, hit all the way down the ice. Back forward is Manson. Buck is sent to Quint. Quint works to center. Gets it into the middle. Shambach stripped to the puck by Verbe. Buck goes into the corner. Manson and Tinov are there. Now Shambach finds Korolev. Solani two on two. Slowly. Solani gets to the line. Stops. Dumps it in deep. Korolev goes after it with Lidster. Now the Rangers flip it high. Knocked down. Doig puts it in. It's picked up by Presley. At center. Presley is ripped. And here's Doig. Two and a half left. Third period. Rangers lead by one. Puck is dumped in. Kovalev can't clear. It's hit behind the net. Four of the battle for it. Now it's put to Darren Shannon. Shannon behind the goal. Doig pinches in. Doig's trying to work it. He does. Doig still with it. Gives it to Darren Shannon. Back it's a field shot. In front of the goal. Big bat away. Loose puck. Eastwood takes it. Backhand. Rebound. Hits into the corner. Now it's Ted Kovalev. Trying to get it out. Doig holds it in. Doig with it again. Puts it down to the corner. Shannon runs into Samuels. Eastwood centers. Here's the shot by Mills. And Doig a shot. And the Rangers bring it up three on two. It's taken to center ice. Ferraro gets over the line, waits, and hands it right to Newman. He brings it up. Gets it to center ice. On the ball is Drake. Drake runs in the leash. Knocks him down. Puck goes free. Puck along the boards. And it's sent back to the Jets on with a minute and a half left. But there's going to be a penalty. the call. Oh, Canada, home and native land. Jets hockey. It's passionate, fiery, powerful, and that's just the anthem. The Jets gain the man advantage. Now the puck stolen by Solani. He shot. Richter the save. It's along the boards. Puck goes free. Here's Solani again, bumping in. Solani to the outside. Looks for a trailer. Jevil is still in the net, but he came halfway out. The Rangers clear it. A minute seven left in the third period. Jets with the man advantage. 5 4. The Rangers lead. Broke a boom in the penalty box. Jamnock comes in. Back to get it, Samuelson. Samuelson clears at the center. Jamnov with it. Jevelde starts out of the net. Jets with six attackers. Newman with the puck in his own zone. Now gets it to Jamnov. To Newman. Center up. Newman drives it in. Tried to. Then drives it in offside. Timo Solani started this third period with a lot more jump and enthusiasm than he showed in the first two periods. 
And when your best player shows that kind of jump, everybody follows. And that's exactly what happened. And I'll tell you what, the Jets, you have to give them all kinds of credit. They have battled like crazy to get back in this game. On that last goal by the Jets, Diane Dunkfeld of Winnipeg included a crab cheese slices group of purchase and entered score and win at Safeway. Diane won a set of quality appliances from T-Ball. Jets with six attackers, a man advantage, 39 seconds left. Kirkot, Doan, Korolev, Jemnov, Newman, and Solani. Kirkot trying to dump it in. Now Messier cleared it out and back to get it. He's in about 47 seconds left. Jets trail by one. It's bumped into the Rangers off. Corlev centers. Leach knocks it down. Behind the net. Kirkot goes for it. Now Messier works there against Newman. It's strange. The center. Carl the puck shot. He scores. And that puts it away. Well, the Rangers dodged a bullet. The Jets had him on the run the whole third period. And they're going to be very fortunate to walk away from this game with the win. Adam Gray just directs it towards the goal, hits the stick, but somehow still has enough steam to go over the red line for the empty netter. The Winnipeg Jets, they didn't sit down and fold. They went hard this whole third period and completely dominated the Rangers. But just a little bit too little too late. Banks has long shot, goes over top, four seconds left, six for Rangers. Buck bounces out of play, and the game is over. Well, they let the clock run out. And I think that official Mark Bassett is going to put everybody back on the bench in the last few seconds. We'll have to wait and see. Certainly the Rangers let it run out. Well, there were eight-tenths of a second yeah. left when the puck went out of play. The clock stopped there momentarily. And then the timekeeper decided to act with it. I'm going yeah. home. And so did both coaches. Great four. Rangers beat the Jets six to four. Now get a 28-point winter inspection, oil, lube, and filter, tire rotation, and a four-liter jug of washer fluid, all for just $24.99, only at Canadian Tire. Who says you can't have fun being a caveman? <laughs> Yellow fruity puddings. They'll bring out the fun in anyone. You are about to behold a remarkable feat of modern magic. This man is going to cut his energy bill for drying the laundry by 54%. Watch carefully. The secret is natural gas. Not only do natural gas dryers save you money, the moist, even heat dries your clothes gently and reduces static cling. Performance on command. Come home to natural gas. Time now for the Molson Cup three stars. The third star from the Winnipeg Jets, Dallas Drake, who had a spirited game, also scored the Jets' first goal that came on the power play. The second star from the New York Rangers, Borolev. He had a goal and an assist. And the number one star from tonight's game, former Brandon Wheat King, Ray Ferraro, with two goals and an assist. That is the Molson Cup three stars from tonight's 
game. There you see the overall standings for the Winnipeg Jets this season. Igor Korolev with 10 points. Neil Wilkinson and Darren Turcotte tied for second with five. And now it's time for the Jim Goche Big Easy Play of the Game. And there was nothing easy about this as Mike Richter with the score five to two in favor of the Rangers comes up with four, count them, four big stops. It was a real good flurry of play here by the Winnipeg Jets, putting some real good pressure on. It was about a 30 to 40 second play here, pummeling Richter with a lot of shots, but he stood tall, managed to stop all of them, and it could have been a big difference. That really would have changed a uh, little bit of the momentum there and uh, would have closed the gap on, uh, on the lead that the, that the Rangers had. The Big Easy Play of the Game is brought to you by the home of the Big Buy, Jim Goche Chevrolet Geo Cadillac. It's so easy, easy, easy. Yeah. 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 Well, Kerry Wilson, one thing you can say about the Winnipeg Jets' performance tonight was that they didn't quit, and they came back in the third period down 4-1 to make a game of it. That was the real positive there, I think. Uh, they came out in the third period, and they did show a lot of heart and soul. They could have just uh, folded their tent and started looking to the next game. I think uh, the game itself, they sort of, they almost gave it away in the second period. Uh, the Rangers came out, outskated them, outplayed them in every aspect of the game, and it showed on the scoreboard. But the, the Jets didn't say die. They came back, battled back, closed the gap, and really made a game of it in the end. He wasn't one of our three stars, but uh, honorable mention tonight goes to goaltender Tim Chevalier. The last goal by the Rangers into the empty net, but the first five... You cannot fault, find any fault with uh, Tim Chevalier on any of them. No, definitely. They were, uh, uh, the Rangers earned every single one of those goals, and Tim Chevalier played an excellent game, made all the stops that were expected of him tonight, and as you mentioned, he can't be the one to blame tonight. Tim Chevalier giving the, giving the Jets tonight goaltending that they could have won the game on. But they didn't. They lost to the New York Rangers by a score of 6-4, to four, ending their two-game winning streak. We'll be back with more on Molson's Jets Hockey here on TKND right after this. Oh, Canada, Jets Hockey, it's passionate, fiery, powerful, and that's just the anthem. Consumers Distributing, we've been working hard to make sure that when you want something, we've got it. She's got it. Got it, got it, got it. Got it. Oops, <laughs> now she's got it. What's he got? Oh, got twins. Got it. Got a new friend. And if ever we don't have it, we'll bring it to your door with free delivery. Consumers Distributing. We've got it. This is it. Furniture Galleria closes forever, Sunday at 6 p.m. We're closed now, but on Thursday, we'll open for our absolute final four days of once-in-a-lifetime savings. If you've been waiting, don't you dare wait anymore. It all starts Thursday. Over 60,000 businesses across Canada have Advantage 800 numbers. They generated sales of over a billion dollars last year. Now just imagine if that system ever went down. Thankfully, it won't. Advantage 800. Everything in business should be this reliable. It's been a long ordeal, folks. All Mr. Cross wants to do now is go home. Is one surprise after another. <laughs> kill it, man. Murder One. First in time on CKMD Winnipeg TV. Time now for tonight's Vernos Auto Body Crunch of the Game. Not too much real hitting tonight between the Jets and the Rangers, and this one came early in the first period. Darren Quint with the slap shot, and it was a bone-crushing experience for Dallas Gray. The Crunch of the Game brought to you by Vernos Auto Body, family-owned and operated for over 40 years. The Rangers beating the Winnipeg Jets tonight by a score of 6-4. to four. We'll be back right after this.